<laughs> yes. You are? Yes. You're recording. Yes. We it's are. going. Yes. Everything is going as planned. Oh, good. Just calm down. Relax. Just going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Gospelicious ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> you know I had to start with that. You know I had to start with that. Yeah, we were, we were talking before we uh, we went live today about ASMR, and uh, yeah, what does ASMR stand for, Adam? You know, acute sleep memory recordings. Oh, really? Is that really what it is? No, oh. <laughs> not even close. I uh, I have no idea what it stands yes. for. <laughs> I, I have, I, I, you, know. you know, I said it with confidence, though. So. You did. It was, it was. I, you had me tricked. Uh, it actually stands for autonomous sensory meridian response. Ah, okay. If you gave me a thousand guesses, I wouldn't have guessed that. I would not have guessed that at all. Thank either. you, Google. You know, thank you, Google. Yes, yeah. for sure. Yeah. I got to talk more into the mic here because I'm over in the producer's chair today. <gasps> I know. This is a different view for those of you who are on video. For yes. those of you who are on audio, you have no idea what's going on. But, Mm-mm. but, yeah, I, I would say the majority of our viewers are probably in the video realm. I would realm. say that, you know, usually in the video realm. Our apologies yeah. to the audio listeners. But <laughs> we're a little different today. It's just me and Tim. Yeah. And by the way, uh, well, we'll save the intro for after the intro. But... Yeah, you know what? Just let's just do the let's intro. Let's just do the intro. I, I absolutely. That, that, that's a good. That's a good segue into. Go ahead the, and throw it up there. All right, let's do it. Let's do it to it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Uh, th- two, 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 one. All right. I, 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 I. <laughs> there we go. Wow. All right. <laughs> we can count good. Three, two. Two, One, two, two, five, two, 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 five, two. ten, yes. <laughs> half. Uh, half. <laughs> two and a half. <laughs> Quarter. Quarter. Yes. Oh, you know, man. no, amen. Guys, welcome to Gospelicious Radio. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to episode 82, guys. 82. 82. Uh, I am your host, Adam Miner, and with me once again is my co-host, my brother in Christ, my friend, my pastor, in my radio voice. In the radio voice. The Reverend Timothy R. Howard Jr. Man, giddy up, buddy. Yes. And uh welcome, and Aspen. yes, welcome, welcome. And you know, I'm gonna give you a round of applause too, brother. I know I did it on Sunday. By the way, um, called me out. Yes, I called him out on Sunday morning because <laughs> in uh, front of everybody. I think I think we've seen each other pretty much like every single day since uh we recorded episode eighty one. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Yes, we have. <laughs> yes, we have. So, you know, yeah, I, I'm kind of on a hot streak right now. Yes, you are. Uh, and it won't really end until, well, it might end Thursday, but we'll see. Right, but, we'll uh, see. We, uh, <laughs> I came in for the pod last week, and then that was early early on Tuesday. Uh, clubs are on Wednesday. Yep. Thursday was the wedding rehearsal. That's right. Friday was obviously Good Friday. Saturday was a wedding. Now uh, we, you and I were there for that. Yep, we were there Sunday, obviously Easter Sunday. Last night I was here for a planning meeting for. Our by YouTube. the way, two. By the way, two services on Easter Sunday. You yes, know what I mean? which you recorded too. I did. Yes, it did. you know, yeah. absolutely. I it came out pretty good too. It did. It, went, it came out great. And Matter of fact, I got a story about that in a minute. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I got, oh. A, I got a. Yeah, I didn't even share it oh. with you before uh, before we started recording. But okay. But yeah, uh, finish your thought. I'm sorry. No, no. And then <laughs> last night, Monday, we're here for a planning meeting for youth group. Right. And so again, Tuesday here is day number eight. Day number eight. That I'm here at eight. the church with you, my brother. Amen, my man. And, and then uh, tomorrow will be nine for right. uh, for youth group again. And then right. uh, who knows what will happen Thursday. Amen. But you I know, guess we'll play by we'll ear. see what happens. I know we're... we're I'll uh, probably find an excuse to come visit you. Well, that's the thing. You know what I mean? I, I know I know with it the... Um, it, well, because, yeah, Thursday... Uh, well, well, you guys know who are regular uh, gospelicious uh, viewers and listeners, uh, we were going to be going up to uh, Pottersville, up to Davis College to go visit our buddy, uh, Dr. Blank, Doug Blank, yeah. and uh, hopefully have him back on the show here at some Friend point. Friend of the show. Friend of the show and uh, president of Davis College. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, no, thank you very much there, brother. I know I, I – sorry if I embarrassed you on Sunday about no, that. No, I know I, I, I literally, when I got up for Easter Sunday service, I'm like, I just, I, I'm very thankful for our elders, but especially for Brother Adam Miner, you know, <laughs> and uh, – yeah, you know, so yes, you deserve yeah. a round of applause, my brother. Oh, Thank you. Yes, yeah, you, do. Yeah, yes yeah. you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. It's but like one of those things where it's like, have you ever seen, um, I forget who does it, but he's like, stop. Yes, stop, stop. stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was very sweet, brother. I yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
You yeah, know? but yeah, but you recording. I know we had dis- discussed uh, the sunrise service uh, at Eastford Baptist. Every year we have a we have a beautiful sunrise service. Uh, one of our members they own an apple orchard uh, down the road over here, and uh, they have just a beautiful view of the uh, sunrise. And it's just it's a perfect spot for for doing that kind of service. But um, we don't usually record it. And uh, and so, yeah, you floated it by me. You're like, well, what do you think about recording it this year? And I said, yeah, you know, go ahead. And uh, I got word and I'm not going to call this person out by name, but it's a family friend of ours who um, uh, texted my dad, as a matter of fact, and and uh, said that he doesn't normally go to church. But uh, but that morning he happened to be searching and uh, decided to, you know, go on to our church's Facebook page and YouTube page and ended up on that um, that sunrise service video and said that it really spoke to his heart and uh, he wants to talk with me more about Christ. And so, uh, yeah, you can, uh, I kind of, I know I'm not going to mention by name on, on the pod here, but, uh, but you can pray for our family friend and uh, I'll tell you more about it after when we're off air, but the, uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to be talking with him. Um, definitely, definitely not a Christian, but definitely a seeker. So God really used that. So Praise thank God. you. Thank you for recording that brother. That's Amen. awesome. That's yeah, really so. cool to hear. You know, it was one of those things that just came, I just kind of was thinking about it. And I was like, well, we record everything else. Why aren't we recording this? Amen. You know, I, I you know, there's beautiful singing, a, you know, a, ni- a nice message. You know, I was like, I, I felt like, you know, it's funny, too, because I, I, I said that. And I was like, well, what, are, what am I going to use to record this, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and earlier that day, I ran out of storage on my phone. Oh, did you really? Yeah. And so I, my phone was filled. I got like 3,000 pictures on oh, there. Oh, man. Yeah, same with mine. So <laughs> it's wild. So I, I, I had to, I'm like, I think the easiest thing is just to use my phone. Right. But I don't have any space on my phone. Oh, no. <laughs> so that night, I actually had to go home. Saturday night uh, after the wedding, I, I'm, I'm sitting there with my computer just dumping photos and videos off of my phone so I have room for this video. Oh, man. <laughs> and so I, 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 I narrowed it down. I, I had plenty of room. But it, I was just like, you know, it, it, it's funny how you, know, you tell me that story, and it's really cool that um, mm. all those little thoughts and yeah. actions can kind of lead to that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh like, yeah. If 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 we didn't have that thought of like, oh, I, I, and he might have found something else too. Well, um, God is God is he, sovereign, but he didn't, right? <laughs> that's not how it happened. That's right. God made it happen the way it was going to happen. And again, there's no plan B's with God, right? No, no. It, it happened the way God ordained it to happen. Absolutely. And so it's cool when you look backwards on it, how each of those little thoughts and little actions led up to that. Like, okay, well. Uh, you know, maybe what if I had that thought, but then I just dismissed it, and never told you about right. it. What yeah. if I, what if my phone was full and I never changed it, and I ended up not being able to do it because my phone was full? Recording, yeah. You what know. if all those things didn't happen exactly the way they were supposed to happen for it's, him to see it? You know, it's funny because you know, and That's I've been cool. I've been thinking about that lately, and um, just about in the the only word that I and I know I use it in my sermons quite often, but the only thing that I can think of is like a tapestry, yeah. the tapestry of the grace of God and how we. You know, um, you know. Uh, oftentimes, we only see like the one little stitch in that tapestry. You know, yeah. what I mean? like like just yeah. recording the the uh, the sunrise service. That's a stitch in the tapestry of His grace. Mm-hmm. And whereas God sees the entire the entire picture. Yeah. And um, yeah. With the kids, <laughs> with the kids at youth group, I I always use the example of a jigsaw puzzle. Right. Right. And so we're all walking around carrying our one little piece, right? Mm. Of a you know. A, you know several million piece jigsaw puzzle yep. infinitely large jigsaw puzzle it's true and god sees the entire picture like you know he sees the front of the box he sees yeah. the picture on the front of the box <laughs> whereas our little piece where we don't even know what what is this piece where does it even go right. but god knows where it goes we should we should put up like for our decor i'm looking over there because again i'm i'm looking over at the the normal gospelicious yeah. uh seating area over there we should put a uh a puzzle piece with like the the GR logo or something like that on there is a, cool. you know that would be neat you yeah. know what I mean but uh, maybe but we should create a GR puzzle oh that would be sweet I, yeah you know what I I looked that up at uh. one point because my wife my wife loves puzzles hey and I actually one of the things and I hope she doesn't listen to this podcast I actually hope she does but you know because I, I want more people <laughs> but but uh, but one of the things I thought about doing was getting a customized puzzle for her like with a family photo or whatever you nice. can you can buy them on uh, on uh, you know Amazon or whatever yeah, I yeah. forget what it is, but uh, but anyway, but yeah, that would be really cool to put up there. But but yeah, no, it's just the tapestry of God's grace. You never know how God is going to uh, use even the small things that we do uh, to impact and to draw people. You know, I I was thinking about it <clears throat> this past weekend because this past weekend is Easter Sunday, and of course you have 
you know, a lot more visitors uh, that come yeah. to service and kind of exciting and, and, and whatnot. And, um, and uh, but I was thinking about how, <laughs> you know, as far as like, you know, different, different activities that we do is it's usually the activities, the smaller activities, not so much Easter Sunday, but usually the smaller activities and things that, that we do. Like even like just something small like the sunrise service, like recording something that God uses. And um, like I remember like last year we had we have one gentleman who's attending our church uh, almost a year later due to our Memorial Day uh, outreach um, last year. And, um, you know, God's working on his heart. And, um, you know, I mean, like Memorial Day, you know what I mean? I kind of do yeah. that. It's just kind of like a. Like there's no gospel presentation, there's no nothing. Almost you like know a, what I, mean? it's, I hate to use the word throwaway, but it's not. Yeah. It's not. It's almost just like a, <laughs> like an auxiliary sort of like one of those things I do. Do it just know, to do it, right? You know, and, and it's almost like an autopilot thing. Yeah. That's, uh, I mean, he, 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 yeah. I hate to even say it like that because it's intentional, but at the same time, it's like it's a it's, it doesn't require a lot of effort. No, I mean, it's, you know what I mean? It's an easy thing that we that we do. Right. Um. And God in, uses that, you know, and all, all of those things are important. I'm not, I'm not trying to disqualify right. its importance, but, <clears throat> but it's, it's not like you know a week long VBS or, oh, yeah. you know, a huge like a, or even like a, your your painting ministry where it takes so much effort right. to set up and take down. It's a, it's a, it, yeah. it, it requires a lot of effort to do those things. This, it's literally just show up, sing, pass out some donuts. <laughs> that's what it is. It's, I mean, that's really, like, that's that's all it hey, is. Yeah, and then church, God uses you know? it. You know what I mean? And, which uh, is great. I mean, which, you need those things too. Which I'm looking um, forward to actually this year with that because we're going to be doing it again and a um, little bit, little bit more organized than we were last year. Um, and uh, but anyway, yeah. But it's yeah. just it's one of those things. It's like I'm just thankful that God uses, uh, God uses usually uses the small things. And, yeah. Uh, and it's uh, but it, within that whole tapestry of God's grace, God is good. And I was even thinking about this this past week, and it's like everybody knows that I'm, you know, obviously Calvinist and, you know, I mean, believing in the very – I mean, I said it on Sunday during my sermon. I didn't call myself a Calvinist, but I, uh, I'd probably aggravate some people if I did that. Sovereignty. But the, uh, I talked about sovereignty. I'm a big yeah. sovereignty guy. I, sure. like, I like that term. And, um, and I was thinking about it this past week, people that kind of deny God's sovereignty and – kind of just like he's up there twiddling his fingers yeah wait, waiting you know, for us to make decisions yeah like it's all it's all in our free <laughs> a, a will reactive, and, a reactive god but like how how yeah. arrogant that is because like i mean like yeah. okay let's let's take for instance it's like like your your idea here to record the sunrise service okay something that we haven't do something small i mean and you know i mean really you know what i mean it was it was it was a you know, it was it was great. You know what I mean? It's a good idea, but I mean, like it was. I mean, it was. I mean, you recorded it. You know what I mean? That's that's kind of the idea is to put it online. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And um, and here God uses it. You know what I mean? God uses it to draw somebody to to Himself. Now, if now, granted, you know, I mean, you know, yeah, you had to make the decision to do all that, but but it's all God's grace that caused that to happen. You know what I mean? And I don't know why you I give had glory that thought. right. It's all God. Yeah. You know what I mean? And <laughs> whereas, like, if it, if it was about your free will. I mean, you, you, you could pat yourself on the back and say, oh, you know, like it's like it's like calling yourself a soul winner. Right. You know, yeah, I mean, I can't yeah. stand that term soul winner. Um, <laughs> you know, be, God's the soul. God winner. is the soul winner. You know what I mean? And uh, and it's like it's the same thing. It's like uh, but I think that that's where it's like we, we all glory has to go to God. That's the yeah. preface of all of it. Right. But I wanted to share that with you because, you know, God did use you in that way, brother. And that's something to glorify him for. That's very cool. That's really cool. So pray. pray I appreciate for that, man. That's a great story. I appreciate that. Absolutely. And, though, really and our cool. listeners, you know, you don't need to pray for the man by name, but um, just pray for, you know, Pastor pray, Tim's friend. Pray you for know. the man. Yep. And um, I'll give you an update on that. And, uh, awesome. you know, but no, that's anyways, cool. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, you know, it's 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 interesting. Lately, um, again, I won't share private conversations. I don't want to do that. Yeah, but it just it seems like God is working in the lives of people we know. Oh yeah. Um, there's a few people. I, I I've got a handful of people right now I can think of right off the top of my head where God's just God's just moving in their lives, like unsaved people who are just like really at a point of desperation and like. Oh, yeah. Um, they're really just like uh, they're searching, man. Oh yeah, you know they're searching for the answer, right? And the answer's right in front of them. It's true. And I don't, you know, uh, you know, it's it's that that heart block that the that spiritual blindness that only God can cure. That's right. You know that that aha moment where you're like, oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Well, uh, that's the thing. It's like God needs to give you eyes to see. And, and uh, you, know, you know, I think know. of one guy right now. Again, I won't mention his yeah. name, but he's you know a good friend of mine and. He uh, been struggling for a long, long time. Been going through right. some hard stuff. Um, 
And if he's listening to this, I love you, buddy. Uh, you know who you are. Amen. You're probably recognizing right now who I'm talking about. If it's you, but um, it's uh, one of those things where he's kind of hit rock bottom. Mm. And I told him, I said, man, sometimes, sometimes God has to bring you to the bottom to make you understand how much you need him. Yes, you absolutely. Know? And uh, because you can only live your life uh, for you for so long because it's not about you. That's right. It's about him. And one hundred percent. You know, I, I, I know. Again, you can you can pray for Adam's friend. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> While you're praying for Tim's friend, you can pray for Adam's friend too. Amen. Um, but he he is uh, he's really searching too. And but Amen. again, I use him as an example only to say that God God is not done winning souls. No, he's not. Uh, you know, it, it may seem like that sometimes because, you know, at Gospelicious, we make we make fun of a lot of stuff that's yeah. going on, a lot of current events. And we're just like, you know, I know. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> well, it's like and it's we like kind of make light yeah. of something. Right. But, man, I tell you, the, the world right now is in such a confused state. Oh, 100 percent. I feel like I feel like something has to give at some point. People oh, yeah. are people are just going to have enough and be like, this is not this is not what we were thinking it was. I know. And yeah. so you you almost feel like there's a revival coming. I I pray so I you really know? do. It's like it's like for instance, and I know that this isn't what the episode's about. We're going to continue no. obviously with him and hysteria, but yep. I mean, we could do a whole we could do a whole episode on this. But the fact that like the not to get political, but like the president declared Trans Awareness Day or whatever oh, it is yeah. on Easter Sunday, um, you know, and and even you have you have gay people out there. Uh, and transgender people even on online who are like, uh, are you serious? You know what I mean? Like <laughs> are, just, you, you chose Easter Sunday to do this. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, it's something to, to your point, though. The reason I bring that up is because something's got to give. Yeah. And um, it's yeah. I, I think I think that, you, you know, the thing is, this is that the darker that it gets, the the brighter that the light shines, not to be cliche, but that's but that's the truth. And I think that that's what we're seeing in our culture. Yeah. And, um, you know, and so I think that, uh, you know, we got to be praying, especially as Christians, because, you know, I said it before, there's no such thing as a soul winner. God is the only soul winner. But yep. but so we got to rely on him and we got to pray for these people and and pray that God give us opportunity and pray yeah. that God also give them ears to hear. Yes. Yes. You know? <laughs> yeah, because God has to do that work. He's that's God's work to do. That's right. We 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 give the message, but God is the one who opens eyes and opens hearts. Mm -hmm. And it, it that that's that's the miracle that happens. Yeah, with salvation, right? Yeah. It's a miracle every time. Because we're dead. Yep. Because we're dead. We're spiritually dead. We need to be born again. And God and God provides that resurrection every time. Every time He saves a soul, that's a miracle. That's exactly. That's it. a Lazarus. One hundred percent. That's that's the spiritual Lazarus right there. We're that's raised it. from the dead. It's amazing. It absolutely praise God is. for that, and and, th th and thank Him that we don't have to do that work. <laughs> yeah, I know we can't. So well, that's the thing. Is like yeah. imagine. I mean, I know we've talked about it many a times, but I mean, imagine, imagine if the salvation of others was dependent first and foremost on their own free will. Ugh, no, uh, no one would be saved. Nobody would be saved. <laughs> and and number two, uh, yeah. imagine imagine the pressure that that puts on us sharing the gospel. I mean, it's yeah. and and the thing is, this is yes, we share the gospel, but. You know, and I know we've talked about this many a times, but but you know, I mean, I've you know, I've messed up many a times sharing the gospel in front of people. As a matter of fact, it was funny with that sunrise sermon. Um, I walked away from it. F funny enough, I know we got to get into him hysteria because we don't want another jumbo, <laughs> yeah, we'll get you know, it. episode. I know, but uh, but the thing is, this is I I remember I was sitting in the car Sunday after that, and I. Uh, to, to be honest, I I it was a new sermon that I had preached. Um, sunrise, you're talking sunrise about sunrise service, yep. yeah. And um, and I really wasn't happy with it. There's there's certain times like I walk away from a sermon and I'm like, yeah. and I didn't like the way that where I went with that, and I don't like exactly what you know. I, I felt like I was kind of stumbling over myself a little bit, and I, that's kind of how I felt after that sermon. And um, and here you know again another example of how God just you know oh yeah you know what I mean I'm gonna use I'm gonna use that you know garbagey sermon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> for his glory's sake, and it's always that way. Garbagey. Yeah, I know. I was gonna. I was gonna use a different word, but <laughs> I was. I was gonna use. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. But anyway, but you know that that garbagey. You know what I mean. Uh, and and here he is. Good here, adjective. Yeah, you know, and here God uses it. But uh, but anyway, it's interesting. Yeah. You know, I you know, I've I've you know you've preached hundreds of times. Um, and you know I've probably I think I've I've preached maybe a dozen, maybe a little more, fifteen, right. seventeen times, maybe at this point. But uh, but I, I can understand 
what you're saying in that sometimes the weakest sermons, in my opinion, yeah. are the ones that touch people the most for some oh, yeah. reason. It's weird. It's a weird thing. Like even because I, you know, I've walked down and been like, wow, that was probably not my best effort. Mm. And then I'll hear just the feedback of, you know, oh, that touched me. Or that was, that was yeah. I'm like, what? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. What, what, okay. what's, what's crazy is when, is when they come up to you with an application that you didn't even make from the right. sermon. Yeah. yeah and, yeah. Uh, and you're like, yeah, all right. That's not really what I was preaching about, but I'm glad God but, used it. <laughs> but, when, but when that happens though, it kind of reminds you, it reminds me when it, ha- when it happened to me, it's happened to me a couple of times. It, it, it reminds me that, wow. Okay. This, this, this isn't about me. It's all God. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all God. Cause sometimes, you know, you can get caught up in the, you know, my effort going into my sermon, yeah, my this, my that, you know. But it does. But you're when 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 you're up there, it's not. It's not about. It's you. not you. It's, it's God. Not you at all. It's got to be God who yeah. works. And I make that. I mean, I've made that mistake many times. You know? Right. And um, so it's no, same same thing with like when I when I'm teaching the kids too. Sometimes the weakest lessons are the ones where I walk down and I'm like, oh wow, that was way better than I thought it'd be. Or, you know, someone like another leader will say that was really great. Or yeah. Um, and I'm like, really? Okay. Yeah, really? Uh, not my, not, not my best, but okay, yeah, I'll take you it. Know, you know, uh, and I sometimes bet. the best ones, it's like the opposite way too. I know. Sometimes like, oh, this is going to be a really strong lesson. And I get up there and it's like, it's that was, dud. yeah, I was <laughs> like, that wasn't really good at all. So you just never know. Right. You never and know. It's, it's one of these it's things. It's all God. It's all God. It's all God yep. and his glory. And, uh, speaking of God's glory. Yes. Amen. Uh, I have one more thing real quick. Yes, sir. Um, for those of you who are watching on video, uh, we never really touched on why it's a split screen right now. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> uh, producer Matt is missing. And, yes. you know, the guy had to go off and have a kid. Unbelievable. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's, oh, he's, now, he's now Papa Matt. <laughs> Papa Matt. As we record this, yes. he, had a, he had a kid yesterday, <laughs> yes, guys. Yes, amen, amen. All right. Benjamin James Howard. Yeah. Yes. Little, little little Benji. Yeah, Benji. Little Benji. Ben, Benji Ben. Actually, he called him Benny in the in the text message. Benny. Be- Benny. Benny. I yeah. like it. Yeah, Benny. And, All right. Uh, as long as he's not going around yeah. waving jackets at people, having I, them fall down. <laughs> yeah, Benny. <laughs> we're, we're gonna I didn't even <laughs> think about that. I gotta. I'm gonna bring that one up to him. <laughs> Yes. And his little yeah. brother, Costi. Yeah, Costi. Yeah. Yes, the Costi turned reform. Well, a, little, yeah. a little hen joke there <laughs> for all you guys. Yes. Nah, but Maybe uh, like three people will get that. But oh, anyway. yeah, Benny. <laughs> little, little, my little Benny hen. I got a, I got a, I got an amazing uh, – when we finally get our technology up to par here, I, I, uh, I have an awesome video I want to show you one of these days. Get your reaction. That's, that's going to be one of the things we do someday is reaction videos I want to nice. do. I'm going to sit over here, and I'm going to put something up on the screen, and I want to just get your genuine reaction from it. <laughs> You're going nice. to like it. Especially Especially from TikTok, but anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, I know, oh, you know yeah, dude, I know. what a wasteland! I know, it, <laughs> it's wild. Yeah, but what's oh, wild? But all right, so but yeah, but congratulations, yes. Matt and Olga, and uh, congratulations. But, which, bud. which, uh, yeah, go go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'll I'll talk about that after. Go ahead, my man. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, so yeah. let's we need to get back into him hysteria, yes, we people. Do. Amen. Him hysteria. Woo! I, we need a theme song. I don't know. Insert sports theme. You know, that's right. Is that the is that the NFL? I need, I need to clip that. that uh, doo 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 doo. <laughs> I know I haven't been up. I have it because we, we just too much going on. I haven't been able to do any of our YouTube uh, clips. You know what I mean? Shorts or whatever they are. Yeah, you we'll know what I mean? There. But we'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to do it. But anyway, that'd be a good one. Yeah. Well, welcome back to Him yes. Hysteria. Amen. This is part three of Him Hysteria. We are halfway through the bracket, guys. Um, we have uh, just to give you guys a little bit of review uh, in Him Hysteria part one. Go back and watch that if you haven't seen it yet and you're looking to get involved here. Uh, we split up uh, 64 hymns. We have a single el- elimination bracket, as you can see up on the screen now, if you're watching on video. Our beautiful bracket. Look at that yes, beautiful look thing. look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful Be- bracket. Beauteous. You did a great job on that, beauteous. my man. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you. So we have 64 hymns that were chosen. Uh, so some, you know, 64 of the most popular hymns that we know. Um you know, I know that there are some hymns that we left off of this oh, whole thing. Definitely. So, you know, if you have any feedback on that, let us know. Uh, but we, we rank them like we do uh, in, in March Madness, is w- which is currently going on right now as we speak right now. The final four is, is ongoing. Mm-hmm. But uh, as we uh, look at hymns, we, we did the same thing. We ranked them from uh, in, in four regions, one through 16 in each region. And we put them head to head. Yep. And we're, we're, we're trying to find out what is the best him of all time yeah best him of all time according to yeah. according to gospelicious radio we that's even right. said that we might even change our theme based on the winner of yes the maybe that's we'll that's see. that's a potential we'll right see. we'll see <laughs> we'll see guys 
We'll yes. see. We really yeah. like Mighty Fortress. We do. We really like Mighty Fortress. Unfortunately, 100%. though, yes. in round one, in, in the first region, in That's the true. Fanny Crosby region, Mighty <laughs> Fortress lost. Mighty Fortress lost. Um, to, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. And Can It Be yeah. became the first member of the Faithful Four, which is our version of the final four. Faithful Four. Yep. Uh, Mighty Fortress faced off against And Can It Be in the Edified Eight, and And Can It Be was the victor. I know. And, and unbelievable. So that And was, Can It Be became was the, the first. And Can It Be, and can it be was a number two. Was a yeah, it was a number two, two slot. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It was a two versus a one. Yep. And then uh, last week in part two, we did the Isaac Watts region. Uh, and How Great Thou Art was the number one seed in that region. That's right. Uh, but, again, it came down to one versus two. That's right. And number two was In Christ Alone. In Christ Alone. alone. And in, Christ yep. we, in Christ Alone moved on. That's right. So both number one seeds have been upset, upset. at this point. That's right. right both now, number twos. Right now we have two number two seeds That's in the right. faithful four. And Can It Be and In Christ Alone <laughs> are two members of the faithful four. Now, now do they go up against each other? Uh, they, no, no, no. They, they, they I'm can, looking at it. They can in the finals. in the finals, right? I, if they if right. they win the final right. uh, between the two, so right? So the winner of the region we're going to do today, yes. They the winner of this region will face and can it be in the okay. final in the faithful four, and then the winner of next week when we do John Newton region, um, that winner will, will face in Christ alone. So what we'll do is I think next week we'll do the Charles Wesley region today, right? Next week we will do the John Newton region, and then we'll do the rest as well. Yeah, sounds good. You know what I mean? Because yeah, because we, sh- yeah, we. Oh, you're gonna do John Newton and the finals. Yeah. Oh. I okay. Think, all right. I th- yeah, I think, I think we, we could do, do it. I think we could do it. Yeah. I don't, absolutely. I don't think there's really any reason why we should spread the final four or the faithful four over one episode. That's, that's a little much. A, that's but. true. That's true. You know, we, we can we can finish it next week. I think. Yeah, absolutely. I think so. I think we could do it. So, absolutely. Amen. Let's so remind ourselves of the rules. Absolutely. Here are the rules. Uh, each uh, song or <laughs> song, each hymn will be put uh, against each other. We're going to work down uh, through. If you are watching on the video, I think you can see the Charles Wesley region in the background here. We're going to work our way down, starting with the one versus sixteen, all the way down to the two versus fifteen, mm-hmm. and then we're going to work our way through until we have a winner. Uh, and so we're going to keep going until we're done. All right. And then, uh, so we judge each matchup on three uh, criteria. Okay, Mm -hmm. so our first criteria is singability, which is the ability for the hymn to be sung as a group. So is is it a singable song, a singable song, singable hymn? Uh, Is it is it is it hard to sing? Is it easy to sing? Right. Uh, Catchiness. So now we're actually talking about the mechanics of the song, the melody, the harmony. How does it sound? How does it make you feel? Yeah. Okay. that's catchy. That's that's part of that's part of a great hymn. Right. It is. Absolutely. And then the theology. We're talking the lyrics. How do they honor God? Are they uh, are they solid? Are they are they not? <laughs> right. If they're not, you're going to lose points. Right. Uh, you know. So, <laughs> th- those are the three things: the singability, catchiness, and, and theology. Theology. Cool. Okay? And obviously, we're we're you know we're working through this. We're using uh, websites like hymnary.org and uh, hymnal.net and all these things to help us. So thank you to those websites yes, for background info. Um, but for now. Let's work through. Amen. Let's do it to Let's it. Let's get started. Dun, 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 by the way, dun, dun. by the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna call out uh, Papa Matt here, because um, I sat down here in the producer's chair. He's been with us for the first uh, couple episodes here of him hysteria, and um, I I I have my sheet here. All right, uh, and you can look down in the in the little corner over here. But uh, but yeah, you know, obviously, same thing that we have up on the screen there. Yeah, Adam's got his all filled out. You can see. I came over here and I sat in the producer's chair. And his was not filled out. What? It was blank. What? Blank as can be. And, uh, you know. It was blank It was blank. As a yeah. something that's blank. Yeah, and blank. <laughs> I, I can't think of a thing that's blank. <laughs> I can think of Dr. Blank. You Do- know what I mean? Dr. Blank. <laughs> <laughs> but, but out, yes, shout out, shout out to Dr. Blank at, at yep. uh, Davis College. But, but yeah, uh, yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to call him out on that. Are you, what, you, well, you've been following along there, big fella. You know, come on. You know, I know, you know, that him hysteria should be the number one priority. Uh, Even over yes, family. Over family. Come on. You know, 100%. A, you know, first child. You know, no. little Benny will understand. He will understand him, hysteria, you know. and He's uh, a kid. Yeah. He won't even remember. He won't even remember. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. All yeah. right. All right. We'll Let's do it this time. It. Yes. Come on, Matt. You know, Our number one matchup. Mm. Here we go. Let's do it. The first matchup of the day. Uh, round one. We have the number one seed. 
in the Charles Wesley region. Amazing Grace. Right. That's going to be a tough one right from the get-go. That's, that's, that's I. You know, the thing is this, is with Amazing Grace, when you think of him. Yeah. That may be the first one that comes to mind. That's usually the first one that comes to mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's going to be a tough one to beat. This, but anyway, yes. Yeah. It was, you know, when we were deciding the number one seeds for this tournament, it really came down to Mighty Fortress, How Great Thou Art, which was round two, and right. Amazing Grace. And a spoiler, spoiler alert for, yeah, that, for, for the next John week. Newton. The John Newton region, the number one seed there is Holy, Holy, Holy. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one, too. That's a tough out. Yeah. Tough out. Amazing yeah. Grace, though. Uh, oh, by the way, number 16 seed is What Child Is This? Oh, yeah, that's we right. Have, we didn't, yeah. We have a, a, a Christmas hymn here. Um, this is a no-brainer in my mind. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I mean, this is a, this is quick. I mean, I lo- again, I love What Child Is This. Yeah. Um, great song, great hymn. A great hymn, you know what I mean? But uh, Amazing Grace gets it. Um, yeah. Now, here's the thing. We're talking Amazing Grace, you know, j- the, the original John Newton Amazing Grace. Are yes. we talking about, my chains are no. gone? <laughs> We're not talking about the Tomlinized <laughs> version. Tomlinized with the, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> where he adds a, an extra. I've been set, set free. free. Yeah, no, nothing like that. My favorite. And, uh, although, <laughs> it's actually pretty good. I, en- I enjoy I sh- leading that one, but the uh, but it's. Are we going to uh, use the Tomlin version? Maybe. No, yeah. no, no, my no. God, my savior. <laughs> and like a flood, <laughs> a flood. His, his mercy reigns. Oh, it reigns. An endless love, amazing grace. All right, you done now? <laughs> you done now? Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Amen. Uh, I get Amazing Grace gets it. Sorry, yeah. you know, uh, I'm not even really. I mean, like, I'm looking at the the lyrics of "What Child Is This," and I mean, great Christmas hymn. Um, nothing against it, but uh, this was this is like, uh, yeah. This is. I mean, this yeah. is this is this is John Newton, the guy who had a region named after him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, 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 this is this is like quintessential hymn. Uh, yeah. When you think of. Like you said, when you think of the word hymn, right. this hymn may be the hymn that comes to mind. Yeah. You think of the, that, that amazing line of, I once was lost, but now I'm found. Right. Um, Saved a wretch like me. I mean, these yeah. are like almost cliche. It's, They're so ingrained. It's gospel. I mean, it's um, the whole, yeah. And, and it, you know, the, the concept of grace is just brought out so much here. Um, because, I mean, when you think about John Newton's life and where, yeah. he, came, and where he came from, his story, uh being, you know, uh, I think he was a slave trader. Oh, right? he was. And yep. so he was uh, you know, dying on his boat <laughs> and, and and survived. And, you know, he was he was he was not a believer. <laughs> no, he was not. Not he, until he, he was an evil man. Yeah, he was. And so if someone understands grace, it's John Newton. One hundred percent. He was not a great guy. The, the one thing with it, you know, as far as. Um, you know, and, and and it's funny. You know, I mean, I'm bringing this up here um, on hymnary. Um, which which way? Yeah, because this it come up with amazing grace, and then in parenthesis, how sweet the sound. Yeah, that's the one I have up too. Um, and uh, there's, I think there's an extra verse in here though. Yeah, there's 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 actually there's six actually here, and um, yeah. So I'm not sure if that's the version I'm I'm uh, familiar with. I, I will I will say this that with Amazing Grace and this is where Amazing Grace even though it's I just don't think it was any contest between the two but Amazing Grace might get an upset later, uh, depending upon what it goes up against because it, when you look at all of them I, like I love the first the first verse obviously that saved a wretch like me, like me I once was lost, uh, twas grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed. Amen. Yeah. Through many do- changers, do- toils, and snares. Um, and I have already come. Um, but there's, um, man, we might have to look this one up in the in the hymnal over there, brother. I know you got the hymnal, but. Yeah. Um, but, y- like, I mean, of course, I know the, no, the verse 4 that's on here. The Lord has promised good to me. His word, my hope. But there was another one. No, when we've been there ten thousand years, that's not on here. That's what I was thinking. Interesting, man. Um, and I was not in this one. In verse five says, "Yes, when this flesh and heart shall fail." I don't know if I've ever heard that verse. I've never heard that one either. And then I've heard, "The Lord has promised good to me," and I've heard, "The earth shall soon dissolve like snow." Yeah. But God, who called me here below, shall be, be forever mine. I I appreciate that. I usually don't particularly care to sing. Th- those particular verses. So, in the the blue hymnal, as we call it, the yeah. the, the, the celebration right uh, hymnal, 
There are five verses. Okay. Um, verse one is the same. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound, obviously. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear is verse two. Yep. The Lord has promised good to me is verse three. Okay, yeah, that's a normal so one. So that's swapped from this one because this one's verse four. Right. Uh, through many dangerous toils and snares. So three and four have swapped in this one. Okay. And then five is when we've been there 10,000 years. When we've been years. there 10,000 years, I you know, yeah. Um, but I, I've heard verse six before. I have too, yeah. The the so earth shall not, soon dissolve that's like snow. not in the blue hymnal. I wonder if it's an amazing great or in a hymns of grace. Yeah, maybe. Um y- you know the, the where I've normally heard I, mean, I know we make fun of Chris Tomlin but um in the Chris Tomlin version that's where I've heard the earth shall soon dissolve like snow. That's yeah. that's that's where I usually have heard that one. Not usually in the hymnal. Um hmm. you know and so I I will say you know, yeah amazing grace brings you from beginning to end. My one criticism, and this is going to come up later, um, yeah. is, yeah, it's talking about grace, 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 but there's really not a lot of talk of Christ when you really think through it, you know? Um, unless I am off, and maybe maybe there's, you know, because amazing grace, how sweet the sound, right? Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and we praise the Lord for that. Come many dangers, toils, and snares. Mm-hmm. When we've been there, t- there's no mention of Christ. So I, I I'm going to... I'm gonna say that it beats what child is this, but it's mm. gonna ha- it's gonna run into some some trouble I think later on. Interesting, um, you know, just kind of foreshadowing. In in my personal opinion, where I'm gonna go with it. That's true. Christ Christ does not really appear in this. He song. is not mentioned at all. You know, it was funny. And now that I'm thinking back on this, and, and I know we're spending a lot of time on Amazing Grace here, but yeah, um, I remember when I was a kid. Uh, this goes to show you how much public schools have changed. I remember. In public school, our music teacher, like, you know, you do concerts. Mm-hmm. We actually did, in Glastonbury schools, uh, sang Amazing Grace uh, in wow. front of parents. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And um, it goes to show you. But now I'm thinking through it. And again, this is something dawning on me 30 years later um, from when I was eight years old or whatever. Um, you know, it's it's probably because the hymn doesn't mention Jesus. Hmm. It talks about just a generic grace. I'm I'm starting to rethink Amazing Grace now, you know. <laughs> and, uh, wow. You know, I, I I'm upset maybe in the cards. Again. It might be. You know, I mean, I I love Amazing Grace. It's, Don't get me wrong. There, I love it. There's a lot of hope in this song. There is the hope of eternal life. Right. Um, but it is I, I suppose kind of generic, isn't it? Mm. Uh, yeah. I think I think it still wins. I think it still wins this one on singability. Um and catchiness, catchiness. definitely. Um, um which interesting. I, yeah. And even kind of like you know going to what child is this with the with the uh, singability issue. Um, what child is this is a great great hymn. But I'm going to tell you something. If you get uh, another one of those cases where if you get in the wrong key and you get to the chorus, um, if it's this too high, this is Christ, Christ yeah. the King. You know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and again, it is it is. It is very limited in its scope of its usage, yeah, of its message. Right, it is. It is focused just on that specific part of the nativity. Right. Um. It. It's literally just the the. It's just descri- it, It's only just describing the picture of Jesus' birth. Right. Um. Bring him into this golden myrrh. You know, right. Where, and where ox and boop are yeah, well, that's that's another thing that makes it <laughs> awkward to put out in front. You know, because again, I, I you know yeah, I mean with yeah. Where yeah, ox and butt. Are yeah, <laughs> <laughs> donkey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> donkey. That's you know, always yeah. a tough one to put up on the screen. Yeah, so. it's it's tough. Uh, I, I, you know, and yeah. and uh, you know, especially with you know. But anyway, I uh, yeah. So we're gonna have to come back to Amazing Grace, of course. Yep. But I, yep. I I think we got to bear that in mind going forward. Okay. Um. So giving it to Amazing Grace. Yes. Amen. Amazing Grace moves on. Number one again. Amazing Grace. No, no, sixteen one upsets yet. Nope, not yet. Nope, not you know, yet. Not, not, yet. Y- not yet. You know. Let's move on. Amen. What do we got next? The next matchup is the number eight seed. We have the church's one foundation, and the oh, yeah. nine seed, which is we will glorify. Mm. Let's see. Interesting. Church, church's one foundation, and I'll, I love church's one foundation. I I do mm-hmm. I uh, you know being a pastor of course, and um, you know as opposed to uh, well hang on a second let me bring up we will glorify, we will glor 
So I think what we're doing here is we're putting a... They're both hymns, of course, um, but we're putting a very dense, rich, theologically um, you know, founded song here right, in the Church's One Foundation up against a song that, uh, while not as dense, uh, has... Um, it's it's it in its simplicity it brings out a lot of you know very big truths sure uh, so like like looking first at we'll go through you know uh, churches one foundation but we will glorify uh, obviously modern uh, it says in mine uh, get, correct me if I'm wrong but uh, this was written by uh, 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 Twila Paris mm-hmm. in 1982 so we're talking about a more recent more recent. Um, yeah. Which is interesting. When I think of "We Will Glorify," it sounds like an older hymn, doesn't it? It does, you know, and the simplicity of the melody. And yeah, and we and I mean, will glorify the, the King of Kings. Yeah, and it's kind of that same tune carried throughout the entire song. You know? Right, and um, in "Lord Jehovah reigns in majesty," his I yeah. mean, talking about his sovereignty, yep. bow before his throne, um, worship worship him in righteousness, um, worship him, him alone. Yep. Uh, Lord of heaven, Lord of earth, his sovereignty. Uh, he is Lord of all who live. He He is Lord above the universe. All praise to him we give. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah to the King of kings, um, the Lamb, um, and Lord of, Lords, Lord of lords I am. And so, I mean, yeah. like you're talking about... This is just this is straight up just worship. I mean, this is, it like, is. this is like literally bowing before the throne, and these are right. things that you just say to God as you're worshiping him. Like, one one thing that I have changed in the past uh, about this song, uh, when I've led it, like at my previous church, is, um, and this is just a persnickety kind yeah, of, yeah. you know, um, is in the second line, I've actually changed the, the term Jehovah to Lord Jesus. I was going to say, I was just about to ask you that. What do you think of the term Lord Jehovah there? Well, f- first and foremost, just getting into the, well, you know, I know, um, we have a group text of a bunch of guys, uh, and they were they were teasing about getting into the Greek in our in our. Uh, <laughs> oh, we always get, we always get, <laughs> get the into the Greek. the Greek always, and uh, and like you know the original Greek and Hebrew and all that stuff because you we know, love the Greek. Well, we do, and it's and it's and it's partially because I mean like it just opens up so much more about the text. So so like the term Jehovah, I, I have kind of an issue with it because that's in the Old Testament. Um, Jehovah is the covenant name of God. Okay, it's and when you when you break it down, and maybe one of these days when we get a better technology, I can actually bring it up. I can show you, but get a, get some whiteboard action going. Yeah, you know, the, <laughs> yeah, I know it'd be great. Um, but the actual name of God is four letters: Y H W H. If yep. we were to translate Yahweh. it, y- Yahweh, right? Yep. And the Y and the J. If you've ever watched Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, uh, you remember <laughs> <laughs> that great theological yeah, work. They, yeah, you know, can uh, can be uh, interchanged. Now, which is, and it's because it's there's no letter for each. You know, again, I don't want to get into all the Hebrew syntax of it, sure. but but it's essentially you know um, the, the the same letter. But um, and so when they transliterate it, um, and you know they they transliterated it with the J instead of the Y. But but the problem is is that in the original original manuscripts we didn't have vowel points. Right. Right. So so you don't know entirely how the name of God was to be. Yeah. Um, and so uh, it was to be said, uh, and but yet when we when we go back into some of the writings in the early church fathers, uh, more often than not they referred to him as as Yahweh, um, in in and not Jehovah. Okay, they referred right. to him with the, the the with the Y. So Jehovah then is a more like just Englishized version, right. of Yahweh, right? Basically. And basically. Um, and and it was popularized in the King James version sure. because um, there is one or two points most of the time. The, re, they, the yeah. re-re inspired. The re re inspired, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and most of the time, most of the time, Jehovah, most of the time, King James, out of respect, just they, they transliterated capital L O R D in the right, uh, right. in the Bible. But there is one or two instances. If you King James people, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I know that there's at least one instance where he's referred to in ca- as capital J E Jehovah. You know. Um, and so that's where it was popularized. But yeah. the, the actual name is Yahweh. But the but still, we don't know entirely how it is. My issue with We Will Glorify, though, is it's clearly about Jesus, okay? You're dealing with the Lamb, you're dealing with the King of Kings, the Messiah, and it would make more sense instead of saying Jehovah. I know that it, it singability, it's it's a little easier to sing Lord Jehovah reigns extra in syllable. majesty. Yeah. yeah, whereas if you say Lord Jesus reigns in majesty, you can sing it, but yeah, you, you have you, to... You'd have yeah. to stretch out Lord yeah. into multiple syllables. You have to go Lord... Lord, Je- Lord Jesus reigns. Yeah, yeah and, yeah, and yeah. so... I that's w- 
one little issue that I have with this song. Um, interesting. And so uh, interesting. Yeah. So yeah, I, and, and again, Jesus. I mean, Jesus is alluded to, but he's not named. He's not named. And again, great song. Great song. But yeah, um, the word Jesus is not in there, right? I mean, because uh, but but obvious that it is Jesus. That oh yeah, I mean he's so, referred to as the Lamb. Yeah, of course. And um, and I am. I mean, I am at the end. You know, that's another name, covenant Jesus, name of God, yeah. right? Yeah. And so, uh, whereas in comparison, going going through Church's One Foundation, um, it's right there in the first line. It's <laughs> right there. It's Jesus Christ, her Lord. She is His new creation by water and the Word. Yeah. And and I got to give it to because I love as a Calvinist. Um, elect. I love the verse two. <laughs> I, I I do. I when I first I gotta I gotta confess when I first was here and not when I first became pastor at Eastford Baptist we do hymns and stuff like that. I would pick this one on purpose, especially when I had more of a when I was in more of a cage stage mode and um, and uh, and I was also teaching a lot on the church at the time. The church needed a lot of teaching on that subject, and um, so this this one came up. But I loved when we get there. Elect elect from every nation. And, uh, you know, yeah. And so, um, you know, one, but there's so much packed into this. And, and, and again, it's, it's, uh, you know, like, like, uh, you know, just, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was going to yeah. say, I think for this song, I, I don't, I'm not familiar, I don't think, with verses three and four. Yeah. I think five, at least in this version, and there, tribulation. There, are, there are so many different versions mm-hmm. of these hymns. But, I am aware of elect from every nation. I know of mid toil and tribulation and tumult over war. I love that word tumult. Tumult. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She waits the consummation of peace forevermore. That's awaiting Christ's return. Right. Um, and I know we hear the verse. Yet she on earth hath union with God the three in one. Again, the the Trinity is there. Just right. the, the, the doctrine in this song is crazy. The church, the Trinity. You know, the, the, the holy the, bride, the, the ecclesia. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, and love it. Absolutely, um, and uh, mystic sweet communion with the last one. mystic sweet communion with those whose rest is one. Yeah, even that 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 looking forward to uh, the union with God yeah. and um, yeah, um, and even like the verse that we don't normally like verse. I, I like verse three. We should we should insert it, but most of the time they they don't. It says though with a scornful wonder men see her sore oppressed by schisms. Rent asunder. rent asunder by heresies distressed. Woo. Yet saints their watch are keeping. Their cry goes up. How long from Revelation? Yep. And soon the night of weeping shall be the morn of song. We got to put that one in next time. <laughs> oh, man. That is. <laughs> That's great. And, I, lo- uh, I love how they, ro- they <laughs> just the, <laughs> the language of see her sore oppressed by schisms rent asunder yeah. by heresies distressed. Right. That is like. That's that ye olde English rhyming. Yeah, that's like poetry. Man. It is poetry, and it's Woo! like, but but that's a great verse Woo! because it's it's deals with the inter, not just the oppression from the outside of of yeah. the church, but what happens because I mean, as a pastor and as elder, you know what I mean. Of yep. course, I mean yep. as elders, I mean we see this all the time. Schisms, sure, they they can arise quick. Yep. Heresies, oh, they arise quick uh, if very, you let them, very. and you got to be careful. Mm-hmm. And um, how and long? So, yeah, how long, oh Lord? Yeah, and I think this one gets it. I, yeah, I, I'm uh, giving it. I'm giving it. Church is church one is one foundation moves on. Absolutely, we got it. So, and I'm going to tell you something. Um, that's n- looking ahead between Amazing Grace and Church is One. That's mm. going to be a tough one. going to be a toughie. We're going to have to come tough back. Tough matchup. To Amen. But we'll get to that. Amen. Next up on the agenda. To God be the glory. <laughs> nice preview. <Yeah. laughs> Nice preview. <laughs> Number five seed. To God and be the glory. Yeah. <laughs> to God be the glory. Number five against number 12. I need the every, every hour. hour. Yes, I need the every hour. Five verses 12. Mm. To God be the glory versus I need the every hour. Thoughts. All Initial right. Thoughts. Yeah, this is this is a, this is a little tougher. Um, um, you know, I, I, I think... Um, you know, initial thoughts. Uh, you know, I think as far as singability and catchiness, to God be the glory immediately gets it. Yeah. Um, just because it's you know it's I mean immediately I mean like I you know the I just started singing it. <laughs> right. <laughs> and right. Uh, and you did too with Very, I need the every hour. Yeah. But but um. Oh, again, though, I mean these are these are familiar hymns. You know they're um they're kind of entrenched in you. If you if you've been been to church for any length of time, you've probably sang each of these. Uh, as far as just hymns, you know, right? Um, and I think, uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, to I'm God sorry. be the glory. I mean, John three sixteen is right there in the first verse. That's it. <laughs> I mean, it's like, 
and and then not only that, the chorus is the is is a reflection on on yeah. That. And and I also I also appreciate to God be the glory like right in the first line yeah it's so loved he the world that he gave us his son, who yielded his life and atonement for sin. I'm a sucker. I I know you all know this by now, but for <laughs> but for inserting big theological words into songs <laughs> like atonement, propitiation, propitiation. Uh, you know, uh, and uh, but I, so I that one gets a lot of points theologically from me, but. But like I, I love I love how this song turns from a, you know this you know I mean just like a you know, like an overview of the gospel praise the Lord praise the Lord let the earth hear His voice um, and then and then the the second the second verse though it says oh perfect redemption there's another theological word mm-hmm. oh perfect redemption the purchase of blood to every believer the promise of God the vilest offender who truly believes that moment from Jesus a pardon receives that's at, that's at kind of like powerful a, man yeah that's that's a picture I, I immediately think of the criminal on the cross with right that, with that verse right um, the vilest offender oh yeah you know what I mean and Jesus said you'll be with me in paradise that it, it, it brings up it brings up Calvary for me 100 percent. Um, and then even the last again, line, yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. It, well, it's just it's just worship. After that, it's just it, it it's what it's doing is it's 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 proclaiming truth, right? And then praising God for that truth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because the chorus, it, it almost seems like a reaction to the truth of the verse. Right. Praise the Lord. You know what I mean? You, know, so yeah. like, you open the life kit that may all that all may go in. Yeah. yeah praise, praise the Lord, the Lord man. Lord, right. You know that that's that's yeah. that's the reaction. That's, that's the natural reaction that we all should have when we right. understand that truth for real. One hundred percent. He he yielded his life and atoned for sin and opened the life gate to all my going. The doors right. are open now. The doors are open Jesus, for Christ, right? right? Praise the Lord for that. Amen. That, that is that is a if if there is anything to praise the Lord about, that's it. That's it. One hundred percent. Um and the same same it's the same thing with verse two. Right. You receive that pardon um from Jesus. Right. right? That, that moment through, from Jesus. Through him and from him. Right. You know, because he he's the he's the uh the sacrifice, but he's also the 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 one who made it happen right you know what i mean he, he's the uh i guess you could say the gatekeeper yeah i guess he's the door you know um and then you move on to number three and it, uh, to, to verse three and he and it's it's like almost like the the natural like the whole idea of uh you know uh perseverance it says great things he has taught us great things he has done right. and great our rejoicing through jesus's son which is again this go this one gets points because every almost you know every verse including the chorus mentions christ yeah um but purer and higher and greater will be our wonder our worship um it, the old this one I, I don't know where i'm looking this one up but it, it says the old uh, the old hymnals would say our wonder our transport when jesus yep. we see yeah. I, li- I like the term worship i think that it brings out uh, the one i'm looking at here has worship yeah yeah uh transport i know that th- i know that it meant something different but yeah. um the uh this is the oh yeah this is this is a this is a newer rendition but because it's, I, yeah i i like it because the 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 verse the third verse is is even then a reflection of the chorus. Right. It's using some of the words from the chorus itself <laughs> to to then talk about how great the the worshiping is. So like the 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 verse one and two, the chorus is a reaction to the truth of the of the of the verse, right? Right. But verse three is then reflecting on the chorus. Right. <laughs> and then the chorus after that is reflecting on the reflection. That's right. <laughs> it's like, by the way, by the way, it's, yeah, it's, it's that, it's that bouncing back and forth of, mm. of truth and worship. And then in the end, it's just all worship. It's all worship. You know and, mean? um, so. it's that, it's that perfect melding, I think, That's between, cool. um, between, uh, theology and worship. And, um, by the way, a uh, Fanny yeah. Crosby, um, this go. was, this was a Fanny Crosby. And, um, by the way, uh, one, one little notation is, um, Fanny Crosby was around around the same time as like D.L. Moody in that era, and um, I I actually visited a while ago. I actually took our seniors up there uh, a couple years ago uh, to D.L. Moody's birthplace up in Northfield, Mass. Cool. And um, in this back room in the birthplace, he has a bunch of his knickknacks and whatnot. One of them was a podium uh, that D.L. Moody would preach at. They'd bring it along to wherever he would do his revivals and stuff. And they had a, a piece of paper on there that had a list of all of the different people who stood behind that podium. They had presidents at the time that would do that. But one of them that was on the list that I that I noted was Fanny Crosby. Fanny Crosby stood at that podium and uh, at the D.L. Moody event. Kind of cool. Interesting. But yeah, neat neat stuff. Huh. And um, this song is just rich, man. Just rich. I, oh man. And uh, you know, I mean, I need the every hour. Um, let me let me bring up the actual. This is. Um, 
this almost has an air of desperation about it. Yes. This this kind of like this dependence. Right. Um reaching out in these times of like um trial. Right. It's talking about the 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 desperation of needing God. Right. In those times of of, tur- of turbulence, you know. Yeah, I um, mean it's it's a it's a um uh, you know, for lack of a lack of a better term, when I when I think of when I think of I need the every hour, um, maybe it's just me, but I think of like like a funeral hymn. It's sad, um, yeah. There's almost a, a, an air of sadness about it, you know? right? Yeah. And and which, by the way, is it's good. It's real. It's, yeah, it's life. I mean, life is not all joy and happiness. That's right. I mean, there's there's hard times too. Right, and you need um, these kind of hymns. Sure. You almost need, um, yeah. you know. Um, I'd like somebody to talk about the difference between like a hymn and a dirge. There's the old, the old word dirge. Mm. I don't think that this is a dirge though. Um, yeah. And, uh, but I mean, it's, it's, and, and, you know, I mean, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hymn. You know I mean? I need the every hour. I mean, I'm looking at verse three of this one on hymnary. Uh, Enjoy your pain, come quickly and abide. Our life is in vain. I need the, oh, I need the, again though, I think that, my my vote is going to go to God be the glory just because yeah. and this is a big thing for me when it comes to theology um is when there's no mention of Jesus okay um yeah. i i'm very very conscientious of that and uh yeah. because i i yeah like i'm mean, like looking at this oh bless me now my savior who who yeah. is the savior right yeah the lord most yeah. gracious lord who's who who is that lord yeah <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. we it, you sing it in a Christian context, that's fine. But yeah. if you took this and sung it in a different context, mm, you know, I don't know. I mean, yeah. what are you thinking? I might be looking at the wrong version, but the version I have says Jesus in one of the verses at the end. But I don't think okay. I don't think it's the right version, though. I okay, th- I think I might have an updated. Who's the author of the one you have there? This is the author is Robert Lowry. Okay, I have an updated version. Then I think this is a modernized version by someone named Fernando Ortega. Oh yeah, I had that one up. I mean, no, no, Fernando Ortega is uh, like that's uh, that's yeah nineties nineteen nineties. Okay, so yeah. this must be just a, a cover. Yeah, I, I have the wrong version. So yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And obviously the Ortega, whatever. I mean, they recognized what I'm pointing out is that the original hymn didn't have any mention of Christ. Okay, I see. So it. They, I, have yeah. the, I, have, I think I have the version you have now. This is in hymnary. Yeah, I'm looking at hymnary with it, and um, yeah, yeah. I think I think to God be the glory has to has to be the one here. Yeah. To, God, to God be the glory, man. Th- that one gets the nod, especially yeah. in catchiness for me. Oh, very much. Um, that's one of those like ones where it like that it swells up in you. And oh like, yeah. Yes. Because <laughs> we're we're Baptists, right? We don't typically oh, yeah. we don't typically raise our hands all that much. Oh yeah. When we sing, sorry, I'm stretching. No, oh, yeah, I know he's Stretch. raising his hands. I'm I we don't typically hands. raise our hands. Uh, yes, but that, if, it, that's one of those ones where <laughs> if you're really into it, you could be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, you'd be li- yeah, yeah, amen. Dude, you know, um, so, so yeah, I think that gets the nod. Amen. Me. God, God be, be the, the glory. glory. Yep. Amen. All right. Amen. Moving on. Moving on. We Ooh, have. Oh, this is going to be a toughie. In, yeah. our, in our next matchup, we have the number four seed, Blessed Assurance. Awesome hymn. I believe that's a Fanny Crosby as well. I'm going to look that up. But anyway. Versus the number 13 seeded, I Sing the Mighty Power of God. Amen. I sing Ooh boy. The, mighty, the mighty power of God. Let's see. All right. Yeah, so um, I s- I'm going to look up I Sing the Mighty Power of God. Blessed Assurance. Um, let me just make sure that I was correct in what I said. Yeah, it was a Fanny Crosby. Mm-hmm. Um and I, I, you know, again, I um, we'll go back to the sing the mighty power of God here in a, in just a second, which I believe is Isaac Watts. Yes, Isaac Watts. Yep. Yep. And um, so we got Watts versus Crosby. Watts versus Crosby. Here we yes, go. Here we go. Um, Blessed assurance. I, I, I again gets points in my book for um, uh, mention of Jesus right in the first line. Of course, you know. Um, and also with the rundown of how salvation works. So, like, breaking down blessed assurance. B- blessed assurance. So, again, we're talking about, you know, our assurance in Christ, the, mm-hmm. the, the, uh, the foundation upon which we stand. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, bringing you back to earth. Heir of salvation, Scripture. Purchase of God, Scripture. Born of his Spirit, John chapter 3. Washed in his blood, Romans. <laughs> you know? yeah. um, and then, again, another one of these things that kind of goes like with to God be the glory, almost like a, 
emotional reaction in the refrain in mm -hmm. the chorus. Yeah. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Um, it's interesting when you look at the chorus, right? Because you could you could look at this from a three thousand foot overview, right, and see see those words. This is my story, and be like, uh oh, right. You know, yeah. You could be like, uh, is this song about me or is it about God? Right, right, <laughs> yeah. right. But you have to when you dig when you actually look at the chorus. What is this? What is this? Right. This, this is. It's yeah. the first verse. Mm -hmm. It's the verse. This is my story. Right. The, the story is Jesus. Mm -hmm. So it's not. It's not. It's not a self based song. Right. When if you look at it, because if you're just looking at the refrain for just what that is, you just like, okay, this is my story. I'm just singing about. Yeah. Jesus. Right. Which is like, okay, that's great, but that's not theologically rich. No, it's not. But the this, the this is the truth from the verse. That's exactly it. It's you know? Jesus. Jesus is mine. The the yeah. being an heir of salvation, purchasing Hey, really quick, can you look up I'm I'm sorry, I didn't I'm not over on that side. Can you look up on uh in one of the hymnals, uh Blessed Assurance, just really quick, because the, the hymnary one over here says perfect communion, perfect delight, but I'm almost I'm almost positive that there's a different word there for perfect communion. I'm almost, I'm, I almost want to say that both verses two and three uh, say perfect submission in both lines, and I kind of like the term communion now that I'm looking at it. Hmm. Um, so the version that I have, yeah, is that hymns of grace? Yes, I'm looking at hymns of grace now. Yeah, but I see, I see in verse two in hymnary, I see perfect communion. Yep, and then verse three, perfect submission. That's the one you have, right? Yeah, that's what I. Okay. Yeah, that's what I have up. Yeah. Um, oh, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. In the uh, hymns of grace hymnal, uh, both verses two and three say perfect submission. Perfect submission. And one says perfect submission, perfect, perfect delight. delight, and the other says perfect submission, all is at rest. Right. I almost like perfect. I because I, I one of the things that bothered me about this song is the way that they. I wonder why they took the word communion out. Um, Interesting. Because whenever we sing it, it's like perfect submission, perfect delight. No, there's nothing wrong with that. But then also perfect submission, all is at rest. I kind of like this the way that Henry has it: perfect communion, per perfect delight. Because mm. your your communion with Jesus, it goes back to verse one: blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. So it kind of brings that same vein in and says perfect communion, mm. perfect delight. Visions of rapture, and of course, to Fanny Crosby, that meant something different than what we think of it. Right, when um, you think about the hymn, the hymn writer, yeah. Right. Sure. She's talking about the return of Christ. She's right. not talking about the, the pre-tribulational rapture, mm -hmm. um, which that's a discussion for... Did we ever talk about pre-trib? Yeah, we did. We've talked about so. that before. Yeah, I know yeah, we yeah, have. Yeah. A while ago, um, but yeah. But the rapture, there of course... It might have been in the, in the pre-hiatus Yeah, days. I think in the days, but... Um, visions of raptures, uh, the visions of the second coming now burst on my sight, which is ironic... Um, given the fact that Fanny Crosby was blind, right? Uh, you know, that, like that line probably meant a whole lot more to her than, than right. Most. And yeah, uh, for sure, and she's again, of all she could do is is you know, I mean, with the scripture that she knew, um, you know, angels descending from above, which is you know, um, scripture, uh, echoes of mercy, whispers of love, and then the final line, uh, perfect submission, all is at rest. I and my Savior am happy and blessed. Um, Again, we've talked about the term happy, but again, yeah. that meant something. It's different. Then. Yeah. yeah. Watching and waiting, the, the longing for Christ, looking above, uh, that whole idea of how long, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, there's, there's obviously a tr – the one thing I love about that song is that there's, a, there's, the, there's a, uh, almost a transition between um, the theology and the emotion, you know, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and it's a good – it's a good balance between the two. Um, and uh, whereas on the opposite end of the spectrum with, with uh, I sing the mighty power of God, um, I, I, you know, again, I, I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go through this, of course, but I, again, I, I, in my opinion, uh, it gets points off because, again, we're not talking about Christ right away. We're talking about God, yep. which is good. You need these reminders. You know, we sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, of course. Amen. Uh, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. Yep. It's si singable, um, of course. Now we sing the wisdom that ordained the sun to rule the day. The moon uh, shines full at his command and all the stars obey. Um, sing the goodness of the Lord that filled the earth with food. Amen. Yep. And uh, he formed the creatures with his word and then pronounced them good. Uh, Lord, your wonders are displayed where'er we turn our eyes. If we survey uh, the ground we tread or gaze upon the skies. Again, the, the, the wonder of God. 
and the final yeah. verse, without going through it all, I mean, is the same thing. It's all about creation. It's yeah. all about whereas this is very specific in its theology, right? And uh, it, it it focuses in. It's a very narrow focus right. song or hymn. Uh, I keep going back and forth. When I use the word song, I use it interchangeably with him. Right. Um, it's a very, very narrowly focused theology. Yes. In this, in this hymn. So, um, I don't know if, if that really then matches up lyrically. I don't. With blessed assurance, right? I think blessed assurance might get the nod for lyrics. Yeah, I, I, I agreed. I think. Um, I, I think I think as far as theology is concerned, I think it goes to blessed assurance. Now, I, so I, I mean, and so I think they get the point there. I think as far as singability, both of them are pretty uh, are. singable. They I mean, are. like and catchy too. They are. Um, hmm. So, um, yeah. So I, mean, it's a tough call. Uh, you know, it's because you know, I mean, I as far because I, I I think I think the theology is going to end up being the the deciding factor in it. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. What are you What are you thinking? I'm hmm. sorry. I like singing. I I think sing, um, we sing, sing mighty power. Of God. I like singing that. Yeah, it's a great. It's a great. It's, it's very singable. Again, it's a good. It's a good service starter song. Sure, sure, sure. You know. Yeah. Um, like you know, I mean, like let's all stand and sing. I sing the. Ma-. It's a good way to start your service yeah. in a powerful way. Right. Um, but it's yeah. Man, this one. This one's actually a little closer than I thought it'd be. Mm-hmm. I know um, it's tough. Because I, I don't want to make it all about, like, I- at the same time. Because, you know, not every hymn, I don't think, has to mention Jesus by name. Sure. Um, you know, so don't hear me saying that. Right. Um, I just right. think, you know, we it's something to consider as Christians. Um, but because uh, not every hymn is going to necessarily. So, I mean, you need songs that are going to remind you about the power of God. Um, hmm. In creation, of course, that, that, yeah. that um, general revelation. It's supposed to create that awe. Right. Um Hmm. It's a toughie, man. It also it also mentions his omnipresence, his omnipotence. Right. And hmm, I'm trying to see if there's we sing the wisdom that ordained. I mean, there's omniscience there. There is it's, omniscience. It's, it's talking right. about the three O's there too. It is. It's true. Um. Yeah. You know. Um, oh, man. I'm. You know. You know I, yeah. I don't. I, I, the the pendulum might be swinging back towards. I sing the mighty power of God. I know, you know, and uh, I mean, I I think. Mm, I'm going back and forth here um, yeah. with it. I I really am. Is this a coin flip situation? I it. I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Um. Yeah. Too bad we didn't have the coin. Do you have a coin? I have a phone. You have a phone. Okay. All right. Siri yeah. can flip a coin. Oh. Oh yeah. That's right. Yeah. Why don't we do? Why don't we do? Why don't we give it to Siri? Yeah, okay. Coin flip situation. This is this am, is a tough one. I am a, I'm tough. I, I'm all right. So blessed assurance will be heads, and I sing the mighty power of God will be tails. Okay. Sounds good. Hey Siri. Heads or tails? It's tails. Tails. So so that's wait wait wait. I, I sing the mighty, I sing power, the mighty of power of God. All right. Well, I'm giving it to that. I think I think that both of them. Um, they were worthy. They were worthy. That was, uh, yeah, I, you know, and, uh, but that's an upset, though. That's an upset. Sing the mighty power. 13 gets yeah, the absolutely. win. Absolutely. You know, no, I'm all for it. Um, yeah, I mean, I love Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine, but I, I, mean, and I love them both. That's the thing. Yeah, um, th- there are going to be some hard decisions here. It is. Absolutely. Let's and, move uh, on. Let's move on. Yeah, absolutely. All right. The next matchup is number six, How Deep the Father's Love versus number 11, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. You know, it's funny with O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Now, I love how deep the Father's love. That's a, um, um, I believe that's a Getty, I believe, if I am not mistaken. Uh, no, it's a Stuart Townend, which is a Getty. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, Stuart Townend worked with the um, the Gettys for some time. I'm not sure where he is, is where he is today, but um, awesome, awesome modern hymn. Uh, but O Come, O Come, Emmanuel is interesting because uh, it's, it's funny. Um, usually, I'm sorry. I'm I'm looking up uh, Emmanuel. There we go. Um, usually, we think of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel as a Christmas hymn. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. We, it's usually when we sing it. But really, what it, it's it, and it's interesting the the depth and the the deepness of this song. And obviously, it is a Christmas hymn. 
um, because you're dealing with Emmanuel, Isaiah 53, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appears. So that's – and then there's a whole bunch of different um, – uh, yeah. verses that go along with it. It really depends. Um, I, I actually, I, there's, there's actually a, uh, a version of this that was written by one of uh, my wife, Sarah's professors. Well, he led the, uh, worship at, uh, Baptist Bible college where we went to school and, um, that I think is, is far better, but, um, and I, I, I don't know where they are at the moment. I could bring them up, but, but, uh, but I think O Come, O Come Emmanuel is deep in the sense that, uh, even right from the second line, O, o Ransom Captive Israel, mm-hmm. um, it really depends on how you view Israel it, to how you view this this song. Because if you're viewing it from a dispensational perspective versus a covenantal perspective, um, you are going to view Israel as the Jewish people. Okay, you're gonna be you're gonna view him as a purely Jewish Messiah. So this song, so like you get to the chorus, rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to 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 the O Israel, right? Mm. Um, and so you're going to be thinking about it, and this is where it's like kind of like awkward singing it in a more dispensational environment because people are coming at it with that lens on of, okay, well, we're singing about the Savior of Israel. Well, what about me as a Gentile? Right. Um, but yeah. if, if you view Israel the way that I believe that Romans 9 defines Israel, um, namely, as it says in Romans 9, it says not all who are of Israel are Israel. Um, in other words, if you view Israel as the spiritual people of God, the term Israel is referring to, in the New Testament context, as spiritual Israel. This takes on a whole new view, you know what I mean, like a whole new viewpoint, right? Captive Israel is captive everyone. Captive everyone, yeah. All, yeah. all of his elect people, right, that's right, what right, Israel right. means. Yeah. And so I, it's an interestingly deep song. Depending upon your yeah. viewpoint, dispensational or covenantal, of, right? A lot of Israel terminology here, right? Sinai is mentioned, you have right? Old branch of Jesse, you know, key of David, right? Morning star, yep, yep. So there's, it's a very deep yeah. Old Testament deep song, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so whereas, whereas I think, and again, how deep the Father's love for us is going to get points in my book, just simply because. Of the fact that it's all about Christ. Yep. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, but I'm I'm tossed on the theological aspect of it. I have to be honest with you. Yeah. I this one is an easy one for me. Oh yeah. Um, I think how deep the Father's love for us is one of this one. Oh, it's, it's this beautiful one, modern. This hymn. one might go farther, I think, than we. Right. <laughs> I think so. I mean, like, I'm looking at it. I mean, like, how deep? It's one of I, my favorites. It's one of my favorites. It's definitely one of my favorites as well. Yeah. Um, wh- why is it one of your favorites? I mean, it just... Is, yeah. It's, again, it, it's, there's... I, I, I think in, in a couple weeks ago when we first started this, there are just a handful of songs that just make you mm. react a certain way. Mm. And you can't really explain it other than just, yes! Yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> it, it makes you just ball up your fist and go, woo! Woo! You know, it's like, <laughs> yeah, dude. You know, I I think um, the, the verse at the end where... It talks about, uh, you know, it basically echoes Ephesians too. You know, I will not right, boast, boast in, in anything. anything. You know, no gifts, no power. No I will boast in Jesus Christ. Yeah, I will. Yes. <laughs> you know. Uh, but then the the the, <coughs> the, the self reflection there and the question at the end. Yeah. Why should I gain from His reward? I can't give an answer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it, it's that, it's that yeah. appreciation, that unexplainable. Like, I, I don't know why He chose me. Right. But I'm sure grateful He did. Yeah, absolutely. You and. Know? Um. That's one of those those ones where it's like, man, you just feel grateful for Jesus. One hundred percent. You know, I agree with you. I mean, I'm um, I'm giving I'm giving it I'm giving it to uh, how deep the Father's love. Yeah. But I I think I think with O Come O Come Emmanuel, I think that um, you know, I think that for f- again, this is this is the issue is I think that based upon the differing viewpoints, yeah. I think hermeneutical viewpoints, um, sure. I I think that uh, that it can may- maybe lead to some confusion. Okay. Um, in the congregation, it depends. Right. Um, I, I was I started saying that uh, Sarah's uh, professor would would lead worship at BBC for the the uh, chapel times. He would actually sing this song not not at Christmas time. He would sing it throughout the year, uh, "O Come, O Come, Emmanuel," and um, kind of looking forward to the second coming of Jesus. Yeah. As opposed to the first coming. Okay. But uh, but as far as as far as uh, taking you to the cross. Taking you to to yep. what is most important, how yep. deep the Father's love gets it, one hundred percent. So, Amen. Yeah, man.
that one was uh yeah there's just good stuff here amen good stuff here and we, we're we're i feel like we're kind of shuffling away some really good song some really good hymns but you, you kind of have to in a tournament like this 100 percent um Let's move on. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. One one last note though about yeah. about how deep the father's love. I love the fact that it takes you, um, and, and as a Calvinist, this is another thing that I that I keep bringing out, especially that last line to bring many sons to glory. First and foremost, that's that's a quotation directly from Scripture. Um, you know, what I mean, it, it it many sons and many sons. You know, what I mean, the adoption aspect of yeah, it. Yeah. Um, so that gets points in my book. Um, you know, I know that it is finished. Uh, again quotation from the scripture but then he doesn't just bring you to the death of, of jesus he brings you he says but i but i will boast in jesus christ yeah. his death and his resurrection so it brings you it brings you to that so yeah i know we got to move on but i just wanted to point that out the but. the the ad- admission that i'm not i'm not worthy to receive this reward but i get <laughs> right. it but i get it anyway right you know uh, because of his love and his grace absolutely my amen. man amen Makes you feel real grateful. Amen. That uh, one's going to go far, I think. I, I, I think it might, actually. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. This, it, it, it's, a, it's a great hymn. A great hymn. I, I'm, I'm, um, oh, amen. But it's going to face some, uh, oh, it's going to face some challenges, man. Oh, as it There's goes. There's some good stuff coming up. Uh, next matchup, we're moving on, uh, is number three. How firm, firm. a foundation uh, versus the number 14 seed, Alas, and did my Savior bleed? Alas, and did. Now, funny story. Um about alas and did my savior bleed um really quick hang on let me bring let me bring it up here um so it depends alas and did my savior bleed can have can have a, a whole bunch of different isaac watts yeah it can have different uh tunes to it um and it depends on um which one as a matter of fact i believe the hymns of grace hymnal has like four diff three or four different okay uh you know ways to sing it the one that i have always um Sung is is the one that um, wait 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 no no is, this is not well this is not what I was thinking. Let me say I'm such a worm as I. Oh yeah, because it, 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 it usually the one that I was thinking is is at the cross at the cross where I first saw the light. Hang on a second, is it the same hymn at the cross? Maybe I was thinking that's a different hymn, isn't it? Maybe. Hang on just a moment. At the cross, at the cross, where I first... That's the one that I was thinking. Yeah, no, no, no. I was thinking of the right one. Oh, so okay. so yeah, it's alas and did my savior bleed and did my sovereign die right. Um, I don't have the one the Isaac Watts version I'm looking at doesn't have a chorus. It's just five verses. Right, and th- th- this is where the difference between the two the two is because because y- you have if you look it up in Hymns of Grace there's okay. there's a last and did my Savior bleed, and you're gonna have the one that you have up with no chorus. But then there's then there's another alas and did my savior bleed that sometimes is referred to is at the cross. Oh, because there's it, cause there, there's one called Avon and one called Hudson. Yes, there's two different. Two this different. is where it gets a little funky here. Okay, so, so we have some confusion here. Right, there's it. Yeah, right. One is called at the cross, um, which is interesting. They have it. No, wait a minute. Yeah, two. So, so they have in the in the in the hymns of grace, hymnal, they have it labeled in the index as a loss and did my savior bleed two eighty four. When you go to two eighty four, it's a different title. It's at the cross. At the cross, right? So, this well, is well, real quick. It looks like oh, you know what? This was oh, this at the cross was. It looks it looks to be a two thousand eight rework. Oh no, no, no. Um, Arranged in two thousand eight by McKinney Music. Wait a minute. No, it can't. It can't be because that's been around for a while at the cross. Um, it's it's th- maybe, the one. Maybe this exact version. Maybe it was some tweaks. Or maybe something. maybe in the hymns of grace one because this one's given me er, er, uh, Ralph uh, Erkshin Hudson who um, yeah. who uh, in 1843 okay. who, who so redid it. The one the t- the one that's the second version. Alas, and did my savior bleed? Is uh, Hudson is Hudson? No, uh, no well. No, well, no, the th- or 284. I think it's a, it's an Isaac Isaac Watts. 293 is Avon. Right. That's, the I think, the classic one. The one with the chorus is 284, mm-hmm. and that one is uh, Hudson. So so really quick, let me let me see if I can bring up the recording here of the, the one that... the chorus. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's that's Avon. That's Avon. Yeah, that's that's the that's that's Isaac Watts and music by Hugh Wilson. And so then this is the other one. This yeah. is this is the other one with um Hudson. Hudson. Yeah. This is the one I'm familiar with. Right. This is the one most people are. Okay. And so I'm going to play it until we get to the... Uh, so we'll, I think for the sake of argument, then, we'll make this the version that we're talking about. Right. So, we're, so really, this is At the Cross. Right. Not A Lost in My Savior Bleed. At the cross, at the cross, yes. The this is the version that we're talking about now. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. So... Now that we have that settled, right. this, is, this will then actually be called uh, at the cross. This is this is instead of a loss and did my savior bleed. This will be called at the cross because this is the t- the actual title of the song. Right, and, and, and matter of fact, I love the what did you call it? The Avon version, the original. Um, is that the, is that what it was? Yes, the, I love the Avon version. Matter of fact, I was gonna have us sing that tune on Good Friday. Um, oh, okay. I just realized I put my gigantic water bottle right up in front of my face right here. You see this? Like nice. when I put this here. Yeah. Anyway. Nice. Yeah. Anyway. Good awareness but, there. I know, yeah. Drink your water. But um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. so so, f- but we're gonna we're gonna judge at the cross. So yep. f- f- real quick story on this. Um, my grandfather uh, was not a Christian. Okay. Um, he uh, he came to Christ. Wait a minute. Much, yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't. Why is that? Because if you look in the John Newton region, what's what's number five seed? Oh yeah, ah, you know, at, and it's at the cross because this is coming up later. This okay, we're gonna be so, judging this song. All next right, week, guys. so so yeah, why don't we why don't we put so, that off? So it's the same song, but we but we got to add the. Um, so we need to use the other version for this one, right? Just the Avon version, which is just the. Um, which is a lot. Which is which is a loss. And did my savior please? Yeah. So. So we we need to judge the old the uh, the other version here. Right. So here, why don't we here really quick? I know we're I know we're uh, getting up here on time, but uh, but we'll we'll move quick. Let me. Can can we just can we just play? Can I just play that recording one more time? Sure. Just so that we can. All right. This is the. Yeah. Which one is it? I'm sorry. This is the Avon version. Avon version. Okay. Yeah. Isaac Watts and Hugh Wilson. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, so now that we have the tune in our minds, there, yeah. I do recognize that one. We have we haven't sung that one as often. No. Um, um, but it it is it is somewhat familiar. So I'm I'm gonna just go out on a limb here and say that uh, alas and did my savior bleed. Um, now that we've defined it, uh, singability and catchiness probably not gonna get it since right. just we're not as right. familiar with it. Right. Um, yeah, I think how firm a foundation probably will get the nod here. Yeah, not um, not to be. Um, I I think since we're gonna go through these lyrics again, I I think I think that it's a great. Alas, and did my savior bleed. I love the term sovereign, of course. Mm-hmm. That sacred head for such a worm as I, or yep. s- it says such sinner as I, uh, and then it goes all the way to, uh, uh, you know, but drops of tears can ne'er repay the debt of love I owe. Sure. Here, Lord, I give myself away. So you, you end up going from the cross to his resurrection mm-hmm. to his. Um, but I think with um, how firm a foundation. Again, I think to what you said earlier about um, I sing the mighty power of God and um, to God be the glory. I think that this is another good starter hymn when you start a service. How, how firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and and by the way, uh, verse two is just straight up scripture. Fear not, I am with thee. O be not dismayed, for I am thy God, and will still give thee aid. Yeah. Um, straight up scripture. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What, I'm, I've been talking a lot. Go ahead, my no, man. No, I think how firm a foundation gets that gets that nod. Amen. Amen. Um, so. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think so. 
I and think so. Well, we're gonna have we're gonna have the privilege next week of uh, kind of going through that hymn again, but with the at the cross, right? With it, the chorus, with the chorus. I started saying about that with, and I'll probably bring this up next time too, because at the cross, that the version that we're gonna go over next time, uh, my grandfather, who is not a Christian, who came to faith later, um, he uh, he knew a different version of of the tune of at the cross, because uh, really? th- that it was actually. In I need to do some research before next week, but. He was under the impression that it was an old bar tune, um, the At the Cross one. And that might make sense, given the update to it. Because, because what he used to sing is whenever we'd be in church, he would, uh, and we'd come home and he'd be like, oh, I learned that song a different way, and he'd start singing it. And so instead of At the Cross, he'd start singing, At the bar, at the bar, where I smoked my first cigar, my nickels and my dimes rolled away. What? It was there by chance that I ripped my Sunday pants, and now I have to wear them every day. <laughs> I'll sing that one again next week, just for everybody. So yeah, that's for Al Howard in heaven right now. Yeah, that sounds like a weird <laughs> Al parody. Yeah, a- matter of fact, every time we sing this uh, at the cross in service, I look down if I'm leading it to my family, and they know exactly why I'm uh, nice. smiling. But nice. so uh, so we're giving it to um, how firm? How firm? How yep. firm a foundation? Amen. Yep. So. Our next matchup in the first round, I keep looking up to the screen, but uh, it is Joy to the World, the number seven seed versus the number 10 seed, Mm. Onward Christian Soldiers. Yeah. So, uh, oh man. So tough matchup here. It is a tough matchup for sure. Um, And uh, you you have what might be one of the greatest Christmas hymns ever recorded or ever written, I should say. Right. Um, Onward Christian Soldiers is just one of those like, uh, one of those like call to arms right, songs. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, enjoy enjoy the world. I mean, I I think for like like you say, I mean, singability. I mean, well, both of them I think get get it for singability. Sure, really, I mean, sure. and catchiness. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, I've caught myself singing "Joy to the World." You know what I mean? The Lord is come, let her receive her king. It's and very then, catchy, very much. And then onward, Christian soldiers, the same deal. I mean, onward, <laughs> yeah, Christian yeah. soldier. You know, and um, in heaven and nature sing, sing and in heaven, heaven and nature sing, and in heaven and nature sing. Yeah, you know. So you're welcome, everyone. Hey, amen, hey, amen. Well, They're both catchy too. They are. So I mean, they I think are. I think they that are. this one's going to be determined by by doctrine, really. Yeah. And uh, jo- joy to the world is um, it, it is very uh, um, I hate to even say the, the word limited, but it it's very um, it's a very specific. Right, Lyr- lyrically, it's about uh, theologically too. It's about uh, obviously the you know it it, it 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 brings to mind the the announcement of of Jesus's first advent. Right. Um, you know the uh, it brings to mind the story of the shepherds and the angels singing in the sky. Right. I mean, um, definitely very very specific. Right. Um, right. Yeah. The nativity story, basically. Right. Hmm. Um. With uh, you know, obviously, it's looking forward to the second advent too. Uh, he rules the world, makes the nations prove right. You know, and so yeah, and 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 you know, I mean, it, it. I mean, especially like that third verse. I'm bringing it up here. It says, uh, "It says, no more let sins and sorrows grow, nor thorns infest the ground. Mm. He comes to make his blessings flow as far as the curse is found. As far as so, like you have that, and then and then of course Jesus, he rules the world with truth and grace, right." Um, there's a lot of deep theological uh, things there. Um, mm-hmm. Whereas, you know, Onward Christian Soldier, again, I, I think it, um, I, you know, I think it has its strengths as well. It does. Um, and I think that, you know, I mean, it, it definitely, um, you know, I'm just bringing it up here one more time. And, uh, you know, on, uh, marching as to war, you know, at, at the name of Jesus, Satan doth, uh, the, the, at least the one that I have, I have it on hymnal.net. Uh, yeah. At the name of Jesus, Satan's host doth flee on then Christian soldiers. You know, what I mean, like and like a mighty army, you know, I, you know, I think. But but again, I think that both of them are for very, very specific kinds of sermons, very specific um, like w- with onward Christian soldier. It's almost like that, like battle cry, like you said. Yeah. Whereas Joy to the World is, um, you know, obviously a Christmas, a Christmas hymn, but. Uh, but I think that Joy to the World, in my personal opinion, gets it because, uh, you know, just just where I'm going with it, because I think that, uh, you know, uh, it's it really just encompasses all of the gospel. It encompasses the reason behind why Jesus came. It encompasses the reason behind why 
uh, what he's going to do in the future. You right, know what I mean? Right, like right. our 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 entire hope as Christians is built on the fact that Jesus is going to come and make everything right again. Mm. So I don't know. What do you think, brother? Yeah, I think it, it, that's a great point, and I think you know we we've talked a couple times about the wh- which hymn are you singing after after church? Right, right. <laughs> you know, that's true. Wh- yeah, which one is going to be in your head more? Uh, I think "Joy to the World" gets that for oh, me. Oh yeah, um, oh yeah, definitely. "Armor Christian Soldiers" is, is a great hymn. I'm not again. We, we, I say that. I feel like I say this every round. I'm they're not. They're all re- good. Is, yeah, <laughs> like I said, there's a reason why they're in this bracket to begin with because they're all good, but. Um, I just think "Joy to the World" mm. is such an iconic hymn, oh, especially yeah. during that Christmas season. I don't think we should take points away from it being for Christmas season, but right. Um, I just think it's one of those that 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 uh, deserves some respect. It gets the respect that um, it deserves, especially. I think the um, it's all about war too. You better be careful about it's a that. You know, fairly <laughs> simple. Well, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Got some Christian soldiers after you. You That's know right. what I mean? That's Onward, right. Christian soldier. <laughs> Gonna end up at Adam's house. You well, know, yeah. picking the wrong hymn. You know. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> yeah. No. Joy to the world is a somewhat simple song. It is. It is. Um, and it is just so catchy. Um, I think I think George of the World gets. The oh movie. yeah, I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. 100%. So George of the World, George of the World gets it. Moves Amen. Moves on. All the Christian soldiers. Yeah. See you later. Yep. Number ten versus number seven. That was a good call putting them against each other, though. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, I so. uh, you know, George of the World definitely was going to get yep. that. But yep. Moving on to Moving the on. last. This is the last matchup of the first round. Mm-hmm. Of him hysteria, the Charles Wesley region. The Charles Wesley region. That's right. <laughs> Char- you, you almost sounded like Jesse Ventura yes, there. Yeah. The <laughs> Charles Wesley the, region. The, the Charles Wesley region, which takes place in the Baja. <laughs> I was waiting for that. All in the Baja. In, I grew up on the Baja. The Baja. All right. Yes. So here's what we got. Yes. We have the number two seed. Great is thy faithfulness. Mm. Iconic. Iconic. Iconic, iconic song. Him. Yep. Against the 15 seed, my faith has found a resting place. Man, that's a that's a tough one. Um, you know, surprisingly, this is. I almost wonder if my faith has found a resting place is misseeded here in this tournament. I don't. I don't know. You know, I. Um, that's a that's a solid hymn for being. A that 15. is my yeah for a 15. Yeah, I know yeah. it. You know and. Bid, but uh, yeah, and how many are in? It? And there's sixteen, right? There's sixteen total. Sixteen seeds in each. Yeah. Region. So yeah, so. given my faith is found. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's uh, you know, it, it, it depends. I mean, it depends right. on how you view it. But I mean, but I I will say my faith has found a resting place is definitely, definitely a strong contender. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, I love. Um, I mean, well, looking at great is thy faithfulness. I mean, like you can't you can't beat that one. I mean, like I mean, honestly, I mean, as far as you know, regular regular. Hymns that we sing in the life right. of the church, uh, you know, I mean, things that that uh, that we need reminding of as Christians so often, you know, what I mean, great is thy faithful. I mean, as far as s- scripture is concerned and theology, I think that, you know, especially with great is thy faithfulness. I mean, like you're going through it. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh, God, my father. And then you just have like the book of James right there. There is no mm-hmm. shadow of turning with thee. Right. Uh, thou changest not. So you're talking about God's, you know, immutability and <coughs> his uh, his unchangeableness. Um, Does this hymn, though? Yeah, does this hymn get points off for not mentioning Jesus? I, I that's where I was going to go with it because I think ultimately this is this is the difference between I think I think my faith is found is and the great is thy faithfulness because as you go through great is thy faithfulness, not one mention of Christ. Hmm. I mean, definitely, definitely um, alluded to. I would say. Yeah, yeah. I I th- sometimes you have those hymns that are mm. kind of descriptive right in terms of like okay that verse is really just about like walking in a garden right <laughs> like <laughs> i mean it's cool and it's comforting and it's, it's calm it's, and it's like it's, it's peaceful ser- serene. right well it's like that second verse on great is thy fit summer and winter and springtime and harvest sun right. moon and stars and their courses above like you get why they're writing that yeah of course it's to it's to inspire that sense of awe right yeah that creation and that right. that creation itself Which is inspires beautiful. you right it's, it's a beautiful it brings to mind beautiful scenery and beautiful image imagery um, right. So I get what they're going for with that. Obviously, it's. I mean, it's. Um, it's a beautiful verse. Oh yeah, um, for sure. And then I mean, verse three kind of goes into. Um, yeah, pardon for sin. Pardon and for so, sin. so, so there's definitely like an allusion to Christ. Right. And looking ahead to that beautiful 
eternal life. Right. Um, mm. Even the chorus, though, morning by morning, numerous. Which is I see. It's, it's, it, I think this this hymn is really just more about peace. It is, you know, it it, it is. It's it's a the 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 outcome of it is for you just to feel more of a serenity, I guess, after yeah. after you sing it. Yeah. Um, I mean, not not that that's a bad thing. I mean, like certainly we want we we have peace that passes all understanding that the scripture says. But, but I mean, I think it, it, I think though, as far as theology is concerned, I think my faith has found a resting place. Actually, gets it because uh, number one, I mean, like there's all kinds of mentions of Jesus right in the chorus too. Know, you know what I mean? I know. It is enough that Jesus died and that He died for me. Um, uh, and and by the way, backing up to um, you know, verse one, He says, "My my faith has found a resting place." Um, uh, I'm looking at the wrong one here. I think. Trust. Yeah, yeah. Right. The, I, uh, I trust the ever living. I trust the living one. Um, uh, my, my uh, his, his wounds. wounds for me yep. shall plead. So you're immediately talking about Christ, mm-hmm. right there, and also the ever living one. So you're also talking about the eternality and the unchangeableness, really, of yeah. of of Christ, right there. So you so you have all of that, uh, and the powerful, uh, you know, sovereignty of of Christ as well. Right. You and know, so you, yeah. you also have the assurance in verse two, right? Enough for uh, me. Yeah. You have you have that promise that that God will never, you know, he we're in His hands, right? We're not, we're, he, nothing can take us from His hand, right? Right. That promise there in verse two, yeah. Um, He'll never cast me out. The, you know the the, the salvation, uh, how that salvation comes about through Jesus' blood in verse three, yeah. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, one of the things that I love about verse three, and uh, I may have mentioned this earlier, but I mean, uh, is just the idea of where it says, "My heart is leaning on the word, the written word of God, uh, salvation by my Savior's name." One of the things that that uh, there's not many good songs out there um, that that talk about God's word. Matter of fact, one of the things that I love about my faith is found a resting place. Is it's a good pre-sermon uh, hymn uh, because, especially if you end with verse three. Uh, because again, you're getting people prepared. Like we, we use, if you're organizing a, a, a service order, sometimes, you know, I mean, if you're going through seminary or whatever, again, inside baseball for pastoral stuff, but, and it, like, if I'm, if I'm putting together a service, um, the hymn right before the hymn or song right before your, your sermon, that's what we call the hymn or song of preparation. It's to get their hearts right. And so, uh, you know, oftentimes you want to pick one that's really either related to the topic that you're preaching on or right. the text or if you just want to be more generic, just, uh, hey, we're going to the Word of God. Um, and there's very few hymns that do that. Um, you mm-hmm. know, there's like Ancient Words. That's more modern hymn, um, Ever True, uh, you know, uh, and that's a good one. There's uh, Thy Word uh, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, which is, you know, of course, from the Psalms. Um, and then there's others, but but this is this is a good one. So, I mean, mm-hmm. in my book, I, and then, of course, you know, it gets, it gets into verse 4. It says, My great physician heals the sick, the lost he came to save. For me, his precious blood, he should. To me, I, I, I'll be honest with you, just the fact that he mentions the written word of God and Jesus Christ, um, I know that there's going to be an upset with number 15, but, man, I, I guess I'm leaning towards that. Oh, I know there's going to be an upset, man. Man. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. We, we going to be in trouble. We're going to be in trouble. Put number two. <laughs> number two gets it. it and number twos have, have all pretty much won this, uh, this so far for the so far. Isaac Watts region and Fanny Crosby region. We're, yeah. we're going to disqualify number two right here at the beginning? As it stood now, as it stands now, the Fanny, the Fanny Crosby region brought, and can it be, number two seed. And then mm. the Isaac Watts region in Christ alone was the two seed. Those are the two, two members e- of the faithful four at the moment. Wow. Wow. Um, are we? Are we actually going to go with my faith as found? Uh, I mm, wow. I'm I'm going with it, man. I'm I I, I gotta I I know that that's a major major upset uh, because great is thy faithfulness. I yeah, I think I'm with you. Are you with me? Yeah. I think I am. It's it is like um, great is thy faithfulness is a really comforting hymn. Yeah, but man, my faith has found a resting place is so profound in its simplicity. Yeah. And the theology is rich. And the theology is so rich. It's, yeah, it's, it's richer than mm. the faithful. I think we got to give it the nod. Oh man, wow. I, wow! I don't know. Wow, number fifteen knocks out a number two wow. in the first round. That's a wow. first. That's a that's first. a first for uh, for the hymn hysteria here. Yeah, yeah. yeah this Ooh. so far we have a thirteen and a mm. fifteen. That's moved on. Holy cow! My faith has found a resting place. Has moved on. It has defeated greatest wow. by faithfulness. Wow! Wow! Big time. I don't man. know. I wonder if people were filling out a bracket if they had filling that. If they had that one as as, as one of them. Busted. Bracket is busted, man. Yeah. Wow. Woo. 
Well, wow. That, that pull a pull a Owen Wilson there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. We wow. we funny 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 whatever. We just we had a you know here at Eastford we have committee meetings. We had uh, our nominating committee meeting this uh, this past uh, Tuesday or whatever, and the whole thing we we started talking about Owen Owen Wilson, and because uh, he was I guess he's going to be doing a Bob Ross. Movie? He did. He did. It's out. He did. He did. It's yeah. out. Really, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that. Is yeah. it about Bob Ross, or is he it's, kind of like playing a caricature? It's, it's a caricature. Of Bob okay. Ross, all right. Yeah. And and so they were because you know that the little I think sticker it's just that called paint. Paint. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to look that up. Yeah, yeah. I, I should know that. But the whole time I kept going, wow. You know, what I mean, like, <laughs> oh, so and so should be nominated for this committee. Wow. wow. <laughs> I, was, I think I was annoying the committee, wow. but. But this is a wow Look moment. At that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. wow. Just like you know? <laughs> constant. That's like the, the stereotypical Owen Wilson impression. Yeah. He's just fascinated by everything. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at that pen you're holding. Wow. Wow. You know, no. Nah, but uh, this is a wow Good moment. For you. Yeah. Good for you. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, oh, that's great. Wow. Okay. So, wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I actually said wow. Wow. Um, so that yeah, is, upset. That's crazy. Our first round is over. Wow, for the man. Charles Wesley wow. region. Uh, some upsets there. There was some major upsets. Uh, a couple, yeah. a couple of major upsets there. If you look, f- if you look at the, um, if you look at the first round, yeah, it's really mostly you would expect to win, except for a couple. Right. Bl- blessed assurance. Right. Blessed assurance got upset by I sing the mighty power of God. That's and, right. And my faith has found a resting place. Man. So number two and number four are out already. Wow, that's crazy, man. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so let's I move know. on to the second Let's move round on then. to the second round here, the, yes. The second round is a little different. We're going to, since we've already talked about these hymns in detail, we're going to go by feel. We're going to go by feels here. We're going to go by feels. Yes. Which, which, which one one's hits, feel? Hits, hits you in the feels which here. One, which, yeah. which one, and, and by that I don't mean just emotional response. I mean, which one do you feel is the better hymn? Right. Or which one do you feel most connected to? Right. Um, and we're going to go that way. Okay. This is going to be a little bit more rapid fire. A little bit, yeah. Because, um, we've again, we've already talked about the details of these songs. So, yeah. our first matchup of the second round, the powerhouse, Amazing Grace. Man, that's a tough one. the church's one foundation, the number eight seed. Let's talk about it. Number number eight seed is uh, Church's One Foundation. Yes. Oh uh, yeah 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 yeah. That's yep. right. And then Amazing Grace is the number one seed. Yeah, yes. like we said before. Yeah, yes. man. Yes. Holy Moses. Um, that's a tough one, man. Um, you know, and uh, you know, as we as we talked about before, Amazing Grace is uh, is is the hymn that you think about when um, when you think about hymns. I don't know about you. I mean, yeah. like when I think about hymns, Amazing Grace is the first one that usually comes to mind. But I gotta say this is, and we've we touched on this just a second ago with uh, the difference between "Great is Thy Faithfulness" and "My Faith Has Found a Resting Place." One criticism of "Amazing Grace" is there is no mention of Jesus. Oh, have you ever noticed that before? Absolutely my. no mention of Christ, and and that's and that's you know, and obviously we 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 who you know understand grace that unmerited favor obviously this this song rings true i mean like about the whole idea of god's salvation i was lost but god god did this for me i was found was blind but now i see mm-hmm. you know god's grace taught my heart to fear grace my fears really i mean just amazing uh but not one mention of jesus christ not one mention of christ mm. As a matter of fact mm. uh, it was, it's funny with with amazing grace um yeah i think i already mentioned it before though about about it being sung in a in a secular context, and um, and so it's it's one of these things. It's like, could this song be sung, you know, in a secular context, in the sense of like, well, you know, uh, like which God, which Lord here? You know, the Lord has promised good to me. Well, which Lord? You know, we've no less days to sing God's praise. Well, which God? Uh, you know, mm. are we talking about Christ? Uh, you know, I mean, are we talking about the redemption that's found mm. in Him, or mm. or not? And um, I know that that's that that's going to upset some, but I think it's a valid point. What do you think? I have a somewhat controversial take, yeah, and it may agree with you. Yeah, um, I think the church is one foundation may be a richer song. I, I <laughs> it might be a richer hymn I, theologically. Yeah. And I think <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I, I th- this is where I'm going with it. Yeah. Uh, Amazing Grace is so good. I mean it's it's the quintessential hymn. And so what we're doing here is we're 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 basically dogging on the 
quintessential him uh, when you think of hymns. Hymn hysteria, you know, number one hymn, Amazing Grace, right? Wow. Uh, whereas, but but to your point, it's well before I before I pontificate, you said that it's a richer song. What do you what do you what do you, what do you mean by that? I just. I think Amazing Grace may be more generic in its theology. I think so. Um, a great hymn. Yeah. But Church is One Foundation is very specific. Very much so. I mean, right in the first line mm. of the song, it gets right to the point. Jesus Christ, Christ is our Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, touching on the elect. Yeah. Verse two. No, oh, yeah. I, I got to confess that uh, I, I think I said it before, but it's like. That's that's one of those hymns that, uh, as a Calvinist, I I absolutely love uh, because that word elect is being used. But anyway, yeah, words like tumult, tumult, yeah, <laughs> tumult. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Tumult uh, or tumult? I say tumult. Tumult. All right. Tumult. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's said in different ways, but yeah. I, just, I just say tumult. Tumult. Yeah. No. That's um, you know, consummation. Yeah. In that that spiritual consummation, um, Trinity. Yeah. Absolutely. So you're touching on all of these three and one deep. Theological concepts, I mean, right? It's it's so rich. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> we just we just dealt with a crazy upset, and I think we might be dealing with another one here. I'm I'm leaning that way, my man, because I mean, like, I'm looking at this. I mean, you make so many so many good points, and like, the more it's it's like, it, you know how you know you see some of these things online. Like, the more and more you look at the picture, right. the the more clear it gets. Um, you see some of these memes online. The more and more I look at Church's One Foundation, and the more and more I look at Amazing Grace, I'm like, well, which one theologically is the richer right. song? Um, and uh, it's Church's One Foundation. It's definitely Church's One Foundation because it's you get. Yeah. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> I mean, she is is the Church's One Foundation, Jesus Christ, or Lord, yeah. you know, and 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 you and he's still and it's funny with this is is that the Church's One Foundation deals with the amazing grace of God as well. Right. That's with the term elect, right? Elect yeah. from every nation, yet one or all the earth. Yep. You know, um, that's God's grace. And so it are deals we, with that. Yeah. Are we doing this? I think we are. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to... Uh, Man, yeah, we, are out, we are out of control. I know. You know, well, we got... Well, that would just... Well, we voted out the number two, and we're going to vote out the number one? This is crazy. There's always got to be that one crazy region in the bracket. That that's right. Just you never know. You never know what's going to happen. That's why. Right? You, that's why you got to play the games. That's right. You know, you know? absolutely. So, it's church, church is, is one, one foundation. foundation. Oh man! Holy cow! Church is one foundation. Holy cow! Who said gets, this? Gets the win. What was the What was the the announcer that said "Holy cow" all the time? Was that uh, 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 Phil Rizzuto? Phil Rizzuto. That's right. You know, he said, Holy, Holy cow! cow. <laughs> Holy cow! That's that's that's. Even yeah, before my time. Right? Yeah, yeah, that was L long before I was even. Oh, yeah. A glimmer, or a glimmer. oh yeah, you know, yeah. I was, I, I, cause I remember like the old Saturday Night Lives. They would make fun of him, and then, and then it was who was the one that that Will Ferrell did? Uh, Harry Carey. Harry Carey. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> if the if the moon was made out of. <laughs> hey, out of everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. Was it? Wasn't it? Like, if the moon was, it, it was that one with uh, Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, Jeff Goldblum. If the moon were made of cheese, cheese, would, would you eat, eat it? <laughs> I would. I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was. Yeah, uh, yeah. Harry, comes I know. Win. Comes, comes win. win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Well, Church's One Foundation wins. <laughs> that's, that's right. Church's yeah. One Foundation <laughs> wins. <laughs> Wins. Wow! <laughs> got I know. You know. You know. You got to shake your head back and forth. Like, yeah. Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's great. That's oh, awesome. Man. So we did uh, another upset here. Church is one foundation. Wow. So the church is one foundation moves into the sanctified sixteen. Sanctified sixteen here. Wow. Wow. That's Wow. Wow. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah. All right. All right. So we have the number five seed, To God Be the Glory. Yep. Is matched up with our first Cinderella of, mm. the, of the Wesley region. Right. The number 13 seed, I Sing the Mighty Power of God, which defeated Blessed Assurance. In oh, the first my round. goodness. I know it. So we got a five versus a 13 here. And uh, what, are your, uh, what are your immediate thoughts? Oh, man. Um, well, I am all, I mean, to be honest with you, my gut reaction. 
uh, is all about God's glory. Um, yeah. You know, and the idea of of glorifying God. It's it's almost the perfect it, hymn. It it almost is. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it really is. And so, I mean, I'm not trying to be like, oh, I already got it kind of picked out here. But I mean, yeah, like, I do. <laughs> uh, I know. I mean, like, I I think to God be the glory gets it like right off the bat. Yeah. I love. I sing the mighty power of God. I really do. Um, uh, you know, I mean, again, it's another one of these these. Um, you know, it's one of these. It's we, we talked about it just earlier about like just about God's creation. You know what I mean? Uh, that made the mountains rise. You know, spread the flowing seas abroad, built the lofty skies, uh, filled the earth with food. I mean, all these things, all these things that we amen. But to God be the glory. Um, great things He hath done. So loved He the world that He gave us His Son. Again, I hate to make it all about the mention of Christ and the gospel and the glorification of God through the gospel. But man, in my mind, to God be the glory gets it. How about you, man? Yeah, there's. It's it, it's a richer hymn. Oh yeah, you know. I sing the mighty power of God. Is again very specific. Very it's, much. It's about the awe, right? Mm. And very much. It, I think it, I think that carried enough to bring it past blessed assurance. Yeah. But it's 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 not. I don't think it really compares to God be the glory. No. Um, I think to God be the glory gets the win here for sure. For sure. Wow. So the Cinderella. <laughs> 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 the Cinderella run there, the Cinderella run there was uh, short, right? Of the I sing the mighty power of God. I know. Yeah. I mean, I I, w- I would agree. I mean, all the things that we said about blessed assurance versus each other again. Blessed assurance, yeah. one of those precious, precious hymns. Yeah. But uh, but I think that it beats that one out. But I don't think that you're going to beat to God be the glory. And as a matter of fact, uh, putting it up against Church's one foundation. That's going to be a tough run as well. Yeah, um, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. But we will yeah. get there. Uh, but f- first, though, first though, let's move on. Move on. All right. Our next second round matchup is the number six seed. How deep the Father's love for I, us? I, I hate to say this, but I, I already, I already know. Uh, versus, go ahead. Go ahead. Versus. I know. I'm, I'm getting ahead. Don't I'm getting. Don't, ahead. don't, don't. don't, 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 don't no, no, no. All right. uh, versus the number three seed. How firm a foundation? Foundation. Right. I, I, I know, as we said earlier, like, this is, I mean, How Deep the Father's Love is one of those precious, precious, yeah. precious modern hymns uh, that, uh, yeah. you know, and honestly, like, with how, I mean, how firm a foundation, I think for sing- singability and catchiness, I think that uh, that they both, I mean, I, I find myself singing them both. They're both pretty catchy. I can find myself singing How Firm a Foundation, Ye Saints of the Lord, Um but for me, it, personally, I mean, I, to all the points we talked about earlier on this song, um, n- huh, th- there is no greater truth that's just going to um, continually I- in our lives just con- con- continually baffle us than the love of God. Mm. Um, mm. How yeah. deep the Father's love, I mean, really, I mean, how uh, we, we don't understand how deep that is. And um, and we never will. I don't think even on even when we get to eternity. And so, um, but at the same time, how firm a foundation? I mean, dealing with God's word and uh, dealing with dealing with the gospel. I don't know. What what what, what are you thinking here, brother? Mm, you know, I think how deep the Father's love for us. Again, it's one of those handful of hymns that you you immediately almost. If you're really, if you're really singing, if you're really thinking about those words, right? It is one of those songs that can bring you to tears. It <laughs> is. It is. Do you know what I mean? It is. Uh, why? You know, I, I think the, those those words at the end that we yeah, repeat, well, right? That last stanza that we repeat at the end. Why there, should I gain? Why should I gain? Mm, absolutely. You know, it brings you into that mindset of what of of the. Jesus did not have to do any of that. No, no, not didn't at all. Didn't have to. Didn't um, have to. Wanted to. And right. Needed to in order to make that make that restoration possible, because we couldn't do it on our own. So right. uh, why did he? I don't know. I, I can't give an answer for that. Right. There's. I mean, and that and that's the that's the unfathomableness. I guess is that a word? Unfath unfathomableness. Um, the the deepness. I mean, to use the terminology, I know I never mind. <laughs> You're the wordsmith, man. It you is know, now. Yeah, it is now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I think the deepness uh, of God's yeah. love is something that we will never get to the bottom of. Right. 
Um, yeah. And I think that that's what that beautiful, beautiful hymn brings out. I, I, I gotta give, I gotta give it to how deep. Yeah, it's too, uh, it's too strong. It's too strong. Uh, I gotta give it, which means, which means that what, what, what number is that? That's number six. Number six seed moves on. Number six beats number three seed. So wow. The top four seeds yeah. have all been defeated. Wow. <laughs> in in the first or second round. That's wild. That is wild. That that's is amazing. wild. Well, let's move on then. Absolutely, man. How Second, deep definitely gets it. Man. Deep, oh wow, how deep moves that's on. a be- and that's gonna be yeah. Yep. That I mean, even with, that's gonna be a hard one. That's gonna be a hard one, no matter with either one of these yep. that, that we pick. But um, next matchup, the yeah, la- the last matchup of the second round, we have Joy to the World versus versus My Faith Has Found. Joy to the World is a seven seed. My Faith Has Found a resting place is number fifteen. Fifteen. Seed, wow. With the yeah. huge upset of number two. Right. Great is thy faithfulness in the first round. Uh, Joy to the World versus My Faith Has Found. What do we got? What do we got? So I I, I always jump in quick. Uh, in my opinion, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you uh, uh, take the steering wheel here for the, yeah. for for Joy just to the, the World. Yeah. Again, um, we we gave Joy to the World in the first round the the nod right uh, because of its catchiness right uh, and its praise mm. um, and. Again, you're singing that song. Right. Um, that's one of the first go-to hymns. Um, and we gave it the nod over Onward Christian Soldiers because of that reason, I think. Right. Um, my faith is found, though, a surprisingly powerful juggernaut of a hymn. You know? Right. I know. It is. I, and and um, even, I mean, you said it earlier, I mean, like, putting it at number 15 I, I will say this. It was though. almost misseeded. It was almost, but you know what? I, I think it's a good thing because, again, it helps us to reevaluate, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. like these these great hymns. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I cut you off, brother. Go no, right ahead. No, yeah. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's tough. You know, I love the simplicity of the chorus. Yeah. Don't of of My Faith argue. Is Found? Yeah. Yeah. I it's need enough. no other argument. Yeah. It's enough. <laughs> Yeah, it's not enough that Jesus died and that He died for me. Right, and um, hmm. I think I might be moving this one on. Uh, number fifteen seed going. I, I gotta, I gotta agree. I, I, you know, because you know, Joy to the World again. It, it's focused on God. You know, the culmination of right. why Jesus came and. But again, factoring in all of the other factors that we have to, fa- you know, factor in, mm-hmm. you know, catchiness, singability, yes, uh, all of those things. But at the same time, joy to the world. I, I have to say, number one, practically speaking, is is a Christmas hymn. You know what I mean? Yep. And not that that shouldn't prevent it from moving along, yep. but very, very specific message to that hymn. Right, right. Whereas my faith has found a resting place. I mean, it is. It's all about the gospel, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And um, again, I got to give it to it to that to wow. that uh, second verse. Or uh, is it the second or third verse where it says, "My heart is leaning on the word of God, the written word of God." So you're hitting on sola scriptura. You're you're hitting on um, you know you're hitting on uh, solus Christos. You know you're hitting on you know in Christ in Christ alone. You're hitting on you know is scripture yeah. alone. You're hitting on um, you know the the perseverance of the saints. You're hitting on so many deep deep things here yep. and the propitiation of Christ. I, I give it to my faith is found, man. Oh man, yeah, that's an upset. I know with yep, the another one. The man, oh man. So it's uh, the Cinderella that keeps on dancing. I don't know, but but put. Uh, I'll let you. I'll let you uh, yeah. do that. But I, yeah, I, I'm looking at this list, and it's like we got some tough decisions to make <laughs> we here. Do. <laughs> we do. Yeah. All right. Well, there it is. Our sanctified sixteen uh, for this region is set. Right. We have two matchups. In the sweet, uh, sweet. I'm talking about March Madness. I know. <laughs> in the sanctified 16, it's the sanctified 16. Yes. Uh, our first matchup is Church is One Foundation versus To God Be the Glory. Right. The eight Oof. versus the five, and then uh, in the second matchup, you have the six seed. Uh, you hear that? I have only one ear right now. Oh, you have only one ear. Oh, oh. it's back. It's back. Okay, all right. Sorry about yeah, that. I don't no. know if you, it's probably no, just no. in my headphones, so a little insider baseball there. Yep. But in the second matchup, we have the six seed, How Deep the Father's Love. Right. And then versus the 15, My Faith is Found. That is place. going to be a toughie. That's going to be a Let's toughie. Let's get into it. Let's do it to it. So Our first matchup is the number eight. Number eight. Fresh off an upset of mm. Amazing Grace. The church is one foundation versus the number five to God be the glory. Mm, yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. 
man, oh man, um, that's a tough one because again, you have the deepness of the church's one foundation, mm. um, you know, as we talked about, and uh, you know, I mean, de- dealing with all of those deep and heavy theological issues, and and uh, you know, the foundation of of uh, of our faith, really. But at the same time, I love to God be the glory because number one of its simplicity. And really, it's gospel focus. Um, you know, Church of One Foundation is great because, again, while while Church of One Foundation deals with a lot of different topics, obviously the topic of the hymn is the church. Uh, you sing that when when you're dealing with, um, you know, when you're preaching on 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 the church itself and the importance of the church, and I mean, so many different things that it brings out there. Because the, I mean, obviously, our life revolves around uh, you know God's people, but in terms of a simplistic. A uh, song that brings out really what Christianity in general is all about. Boy, oh boy! Uh, praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Let the earth hear His voice. Let the people rejoice. So come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give Him the glory. Great things He has done. Um, boy, oh boy! I ah man, it's that's a the tough. Glory is I think the winner here. Yeah, you know. If um, I'm going to be so bold, I I think so. Um, great our rejoicing through Jesus' Son, pure and higher and greater will be our wonder, our transport. I love that old King James word, mm. transport, when Jesus we see. Um, boy, oh boy. Uh, yeah, I got to give it to God be the glory. It's it's uh, That's where it's going. Yep. Yeah. I think as much as I love Church of One Foundation. Yeah. yeah, I think this is one of those hymns that, again, I think was misseeded. I think this could have been a lot higher of a seed. Right. Or a lot lower of a seed, depending on how you think about it. Right. It could have been like a two or a three Like seed. a two or three to God yeah. be the glory, right. Um, but it, yeah, it, it's a sneaky one. It's gonna go far. It um, is, and it's it's gonna go far because I think it's gonna be the winner here. D- and and I think that what really puts me over the edge is verse two. A- and I know we've already yeah. gone over it, but perfect redemption, purchase of blood to every believer, the promise of God, the vilest offender who truly believes that moment from Jesus a pardon receives. That's the gospelicious word. Beep out. Beep out. Oh. Right, you know. And so I gotta give it. I, to God gospel-ish. be the glory. Very gospel You know, I could hear a really good 8-bit version of that song. Yeah. No, no. That might be. I, I, you know, we'll see. I, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All right. So to Amen. God be the glory. Oh, man. So that moves on to the, uh, what, what do we, that's the Faithful Four, right? No, the Edified Eight. Oh, Edified Eight. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's right. God be the glory. Yeah, that's Number the final five. one with the fa- fi- Faithful Four. I'm sorry. I, I'm still getting used to the, to the bracketry here. <laughs> but anyway, yes. <laughs> Edified Eight. Amen. God be the glory. Yeah. Next matchup. Oh boy! This final is final matchup of this region for the sanctified sixteen. We have how deep the Father's love for us versus the Cinderella. Right. My faith has found a resting place. My faith has found a resting place. Number fifteen. Um, I, uh, you know, I. I um, this is going to be a hard one to get by. It them. is. It is because y- you have. I, I think with with especially with with how deep the Father's love. I, I as I said before, I think that the love of God is. It's it's kind of like that that song, the love of God is greater far than you know than tongue or pen uh, can tell. Um, is that one on here? The love of God? Oh yeah, yeah. We did. We we we. That was in uh, Fanny Crosby region. Yeah, that, um, one, that one got defeated by Mighty Fortress. That might by Mighty Fortress, right? Yeah. You know, and um, I forgot about that. But yeah. um, whereas my faith has found a resting place. I mean, again, the simplicity of it. It's enough that Jesus died and died for me. The, hmm. So really, what you're talking about here is is a song that is. Um, well, I mean, not that my my faith has found a resting place doesn't affect your emotions, you know. What I mean, um, I mean, obviously, it it gives you that confidence as a Christian. Um, but again, going back to the gospel of Jesus Christ and yeah. what He actually did for us, um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I'm. What 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 are you thinking before I? Yeah, hmm. I just think how deep the Father's love for us is such a powerhouse. It is. It really is. And um, uh, it's one of those ones that you could actually see winning it all. I, I could I could see that one. Yeah, I'm with you. I, um, I, yeah, I think Cinderella uh, gets her glass slipper broken on this. I one. think so, too. I'm uh. with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love my faith is found. It's a great yeah. old hand. But I, I think, too, I mean, you talked about, you know, catching the feels. Um, my faith has found a resting place has never made me cry yeah. before. Yeah. Uh, how deep the father's love has and um it touches you it touches it touches yeah. you and yeah. uh i'm giving it to how deep yep for that amen. reason it moves amen. on amen so we're down to the final matchup of mm-hmm. the region this is to determine who makes it into the faithful four to join oh to join yes 
and can it be? Yep. And in Christ alone, mm. which will be the third member of the faithful four? Will it be to God be the glory, number five seed, or will it be number six seed? How deep the Father's love for Amen. us. It's a five versus yeah, a six. It's a fi- oh man, here That's, we go. That was that was well seated though. That was well seated. Both yeah. of these, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, these 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 might these are I think truly the two the two ones that deserve to be in this position. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I I agree with you. Yeah. And uh, and. Huh, man, I, I I took the lead in the last one. What what are, what are you thinking, well, brother? Yeah, you you made a great point there. How deep the Father's love, man! It is. It is so strong. It is. It's got to be the glory it got here for a reason too. Very it strong. Did. Very strong song. Yep. Um, but how deep the Father's love for us? Um. It might get the edge here. <sighs> <laughs> because, yeah, these are equally matched. Him, they right? are. You can't, you can't move both on. No, one has to move on. <laughs> one has to. I know it. And I think how deep the father's love for us gets that edge in the feels. Uh, I, I gotta give it to you. I mean, like they're equally matched, man. The, well, I mean, with the, the feels is great. I, I mean, we talked about it before. With God be the glory. I mean, it's one of those like hand raising songs that you start the service you off do. with, and and yeah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. But ah, uh, man. I, I, I keep I keep going back to to and you mentioned the last line you know what I mean like you say why should I gain from this reward I cannot give an answer but I keep I keep going back to the first couple lines how deep the Father's love for us how vast beyond all measure and then he goes on to talk about his only Son to make a wretch his treasure I mean like yeah. it really puts us as sinners in our place yep. and really magnifies that the deepness of that love of Christ yeah. I. I Ah, uh, I I'm with you. I, for I that, yeah. For that reason, for that reason, the number six seed, how deep the father's love oh, for man. us. Wow, gets the nod. Man, man, man. Oh man, wow. You know, it wow. is now a member of the faithful four. We have right. three of our four hymns. We're narrowing it down, guys. Right. We're Amen. Almost there. <laughs> and can it be in Christ alone? How deep the father's love for us. Welcome to the Faithful Four. That's right. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You know, In our next episode, we got to close. Yes, we're, yes, we do. We're running we're, way over time. And it was a, another jumbo episode, man. I didn't yes. realize how how uh, how long these episodes were going to go. I know. I know. But I we should we should have figured. You know what yeah, I mean? Because it's figured. you know, but it's 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 good. There's though. a lot this of meat great. here. There is. Uh, next episode, our finale. Yes, the of finale the Him Hysteria of finale. Him Hysteria. We will tackle the John Newton region. We got 16 more hymns to do, and then that's it. We're going to decide who the final member of the Faithful Four is, and then guess what? We're going to pick a winner. We're going to pick a winner on that in the next episode. We're wow. Pick a winner. Amen. And a winner will be announced next week. Next week. <laughs> Tune in next week. <laughs> I do it. it. Yes. It. Amen. All right. So, guys, thank you, guys. Find us on YouTube. Find us on Sermon Audio. Sermon Audio, of course, is the semi-exclusive home of Gospelicious Radio. Connect with us there. Engage with us. All the links you need to do that are on our link tree. Amen. Uh, description for that is in the is in the uh, or I'm sorry, the link for that is in the description below. Uh, go ahead and click that. Um, you can still follow along with whatever we have left in Hymn Hysteria. Our bracket's still up there. Download it and have some fun with it. Uh, that's why it's there. Follow along. Share your opinions. Fill out your own. What's your favorite hymn? Yeah. What is your favorite hymn? It, it might not even be on the bracket. It might not be on the bracket. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, email us, gospeliciousradio at gmail.com. Guys, we love you. It's time to get out of here. For Pastor Tim Howard. Happy painting and God bless, my friends. I'm Adam Meyer. <laughs> we'll see you next time for Hemisteria Part <laughs> 4. All right. See you next time. Amen. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>